Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Corruption Crew, where we are back to the normal. Uh, we have our uh, normal crew back. Um, and uh, who wants to try and summarize what happened last time? I vote that uh, the drunk person who was drunk last time should try to remember. Because it's <laughs> funny. I mean, you do have notes from Kololiqui. <laughs> 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 we can't even hear you all because you're muted. I know. <laughs> okay, so at some point I did have like a recap written down, but fuck it because I don't remember that shit. Um, so last we left off, you guys had made your way to Luxor Prime where you found an individual who could um, resurrect a uh, passion. But when he completed the spell, uh, he told you that it had failed. That either Passion didn't want to come back, or that she wasn't dead anymore. Um, so, uh, with a handful of high-level spells and various different, uh, and a trip to the uh, grid, you guys managed to find where Passion was, and teleported yourself or plane shifted twice to the city of Rosa Galaga um, where the group of you encountered a large ass battle um, it seemed uh, passion while you were uh, waiting for your friends to arrive uh, a group of uh, individuals probably that um, uh, sort of zealous sect that the uh, Holy Mother had told you about uh, have attacked the Cathedral of the One True God uh, or the One True Maker. And uh, in the process, you guys did meet up, although I believe one of you was a big-ass T-Rex. Uh, not anymore. No? No. He did okay. something okay. crazier after that. Yeah, it was something about mirrors. <laughs> Oh shit. Mm -hmm. I remember <laughs> that. I completely forgot about the mirrors, didn't you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I did. I did. Sorry to I shatter did. your expectations. No, it's fine. It's yeah. Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. I love that it um, took you a moment there, Kat, to realize what he was saying. Yeah. Uh so that said, fuck it. I guess let's roll initiative to see what the hell you guys are doing. I believe uh Passion and Sammy. Onyx and Sammy were together yes ish on the I site. thought it was Demona and Demona, Passion were separated yeah. from the group uh, no, 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 you no, no, no. were we on the other side yes. of the battlefield but you had reunited yeah. um, I, I think, I think Demona I... stayed behind because uh, she did not want to go into the fray I think when I was a T-Rex um, Cyrus was riding me right yeah that's right okay yeah that sounds right um all right, so initiative. Initiative. Not one, sweet. Good nice. start. Nice. Uh, so Excuse that's, that's uh, eight total. Holy shit. Yeah, that's what happens when I take the alert feat. I roll nat ones. Um, 22 for me. Nice. 20 yeah. for me. 15 on the fireball. The Nat 1 is brought to you by the Dragon Heist dice. A defragger rolled really high in their initiative. I know. I have never heard of this in my life. Something well, terrible is going to happen. The hey, one that's when I play. Huh? Eight. What's your uh, bonus to initiative? Not as much as yours. <laughs> plus three. Okay. Mine's I guess... plus seven. I see, see, you have an, you have you have alert. You're you're gonna be moving before any of us if there's ever a tie. Uh when and when does Tomo go? Twenty two. Uh Passion and Tomo tied, I think. Yeah. Uh what are your dexes? Mine is mine is lower than Tomo's. I already know this because I have a higher I have a plus three to Dex. Okay, so now I got to uh, calculate the monster art initiatives. Oh, that's easy. They're garbage at it. Oh, 
oh, that one's actually not the worst. Yeah, that tracks. Oof. God damn, everything fucking sucks at this. Okay, so. Um, Tomo, you are up first. You do see uh, that this crowd of individuals, and I've just realized that my um, little stack of shit that I stack thing on isn't up here. Cool. Uh, for those at home, I am in my new office, and I don't have any of my shit in here, so it's weird. Uh, so there is a group of, uh, there <clears throat> is just chaos all around you. There are, um, most of the people fighting look to be normal humanoids with a handful of weird, like, obvious corruption quirks. Um, um but it looks as if right now most of them are avoiding uh, the group of people that just uh, nuked uh, a rather powerful general uh, and the guy that just, you know, transformed casually out of T-Rex form. Oh, yeah, that's right. I chomped. I ate a few of them, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were right. They were riding dinosaurs. I think that was the whole reason I did that. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Uh, so, what does Tomo want to do? Um, I think Tomo would like to transform if she isn't already, because I don't remember. I don't either, because you were very drunk. I was very drunk. Uh, I'm unfortunately out of flicker, so I can't be very drunk again. So, uh, yeah, I'll transform, and, uh, if they're just kind of standing by, back for the moment i'll just hold an attack until one of them tries to come at one of my allies or me uh passion mm -hmm. what would you like to do well there's enemies nearby right uh there are indeed yeah it looks like um so shit <laughs> Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. I'm struggling tonight. Um, it's different how. You're fine. Okay. You're all valid. good. Valid. <laughs> um, it looks like most of them are um, like sort of just foot soldiers. They don't look anything like super threatening or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, there are several that are wearing, like, um, uh, hide armor, uh, that are within, like, 30 feet of where you guys are. They're fighting different members. It looks like the, um, the militia of Rosa Gallica has, uh, risen up now. And you see there are, um individuals on like these uh hover bike things mm -hmm. um there are a handful astride what look like mechanical horses um uh but it also looks like just coming out of the regular like shops and homes and different things nearby are just regular people um all of whom seem to have a spear and know at least enough to stab with the pointy end. I mean, not to say much, but yeah, Passion will just, she'll just Eldritch Blast whichever enemies are closest to them. Oh. I'll just roll for both of them at the same time. There it is. Gone. There it is. So that is a 17 and an 18 to hit. Uh, that hits, yes. All right. I think I've ever been on the other side of an angry mob before. <laughs> 23 points of damage. Okay, yeah, that one's down. As both of the Eldritch Blasts hit them. And that'll be my turn. Okay, uh, Cybris, what would you like to do? 
Uh, I believe I'm somewhere near Demona. Are there any anything dangerous near her? Uh, there are a handful of like those um, uh, strange soldiers with uh, aspects of corruption on them. Uh, the one looks like they have uh, sort of uh, like. Yes, I just put my, hooked myself with a marker. Uh, like a, a weird like halo thing of uh, like crystal spikes. Uh, another one has like a tentacle instead of one arm. Um, the third one looks to have um, uh, like where the eyes would be instead are um, like weird uh, fish eyes. Uh, and when you turn to like look at him, you can see that like over on the the shoulder that's sort of exposed are just these big weird gill like uh, gills. Uh, but they do not look like they look like they are avoiding the hell out of you guys because you guys are big and scary. Can I get to the one with the spikes? Sure thing. All right, I'm gonna cast magic weapon on my weapon and then uh, run up and try to slash him. Go for it. Uh, 18? Oh, that hits, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, they they don't seem to be wearing much, uh, anything heavier than, like, uh, leather armor. Five damage, and if they have corruption, I'm going to use uh, Frag Strike as well. Oh. Add some more. Another 11 on top of that. Uh, it was how much total? Uh, 16. Okay, he's still up, but not looking great. Uh, anything else you're doing? Uh, nope. Okay. Um, well, it's uh, their turns. As uh, you see, give me two secs. Um, further back in the, um, fray is this individual in, um, these, like, uh, deep green robes, uh, that smacks a staff against the ground, and, um, there is this, like, fissure of, of dark, uh, energy along the ground, and for, like, a half second you're thinking, this mofo just casts like earthquake or something. And then instead of the ground ripping apart, it looks like the, the reality in place where that crack stops just rips open. Um, and it is right in front of Cyberus. Uh, and you can see beyond it is this, this weird, strange, like, what looked like jungle scape, except all of the plants are made out of crystals, and there's this strange haze to it that um, it is kind of hard to see through. Uh, and then there is this loud stomping sound coming through this this like vision of a jungle that you're seeing through this portal. Um, and stomping out of this portal is a very very strange creature. Uh, or two very strange creatures. Um, so the first one that you see, cool, it doesn't give me like a description of what they look like. Nice. Nifty. Um, a, a like- Just make one up. <laughs> mostly humanoid uh, creature. It's got uh, two legs, but it has four arms. And instead of a head, it just has a torso. And the torso is split down the middle into this open gaping maul. Ooh. <laughs> um, but before he can exit the portal, flapping out of the um, those strange trees, there was one that looked like sort of like a palm tree, but it had these just long uh, like amber or topaz leaves um, is something that you suddenly realize is definitely not uh, crystalline uh, as this winged creature. Uh, where the body is made of four skulls with glowing eyes comes rocketing out of there. Um, as this 
somewhat undead, definitely not pleasant looking creature comes uh. zooming out of there. And it goes first because it is uh, much, much faster than the other thing. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's it's gonna... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that uh, uh, Demona and Cyberus were standing right next to it, so it's gonna use its multi-attack to use Tormenting Gaze twice. Um, so, I need both of you to make wisdom saving throws, please, both the uh, Demona and Cyberus. Okie dokie. Uh, 15. 30, 20. Okay. okay, both of you pass. So, um, so you both take 11 psychic damage. Ooh, I have resistance to that. Oh, nice. So you take five. Um, and then, yeah, it's going to use the rest of its uh, 30 feet of flight speed to get to go past you and up into the sky over the rest of the uh, crowd. Um, Demona, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Burn it. Okay. <laughs> Which it? Are they in a line coming out of the They port? are not, no. Uh, the one is like through that portal still. It hasn't made it out yet. Uh, the other one is 30 feet behind you and flying above the crowd. Oh, 30 feet, you say? I don't mm -hmm. even need to use my my uh, spell sniper for this one. I'm going to hit him with Agonizers. Agonizers? Agonizers? Agonizers, Scorcher. Thank you. I, for yeah, that's reason. a weird one. Yeah. It's a hard name to say. Yeah. So... Do I want to upcast it, though? Uh, it needs a deck save. Uh, yes, deck save, please. Okay. That's 3d8 if it hit. Well, regardless. I'm going to take it a 13 is a fail. That is a fail. Sorry, sorry. No, don't, don't apologize. It's, yeah. And just for flavor, the uh, Demona's pointing the cigar and the flames screeching out of that. Nice. 17 fire damage. Nice. I'm going to move away okay. from the portal. That makes sense. All right. That seems smart. All right. Um... Yeah, Gruck, what would you like to do? Um, well, I want to ask the continuity of if what I did before happened or not. For this. With you turning into the... Uh... No, I didn't. Uh, there was something reflective. I forget what the object was. But the I glass just... thing. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I, that's still and there. I yeah. And I disappeared. And I think that's where I left off. Okay. Yeah, that works. Uh, so you you are in the glass that is part of the Cathedral of the One True Maker. Um, I will say this creature is a little further away from. So the Gruck or the 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 portal thing is probably about sixty feet away from where you are now. The uh, flying thing is probably only about twenty feet. It's sort of flying over the crowd. Um, okay, so um, when I'm in the mirror dimension, mm -hmm. there's not mirror versions of everything else, right? No. no. Okay, and um, so the way that I'm picturing the mirror version, mirror dimension, is the way that it would look to you is sort of similar to um. Oh fuck! Which um, like Doctor Strange Zelda game? No, which Zelda game is it where you go into the wall? I don't oh, know um, the name, but I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I know sort of like that. So like you are, it, it's not a whole nother dimension per se. You are going into an object and traveling through the glass. Link between would, worlds. Would I? Uh, yeah, that's the one. 
Okay, so then the main thing I would be asking is, since this mirror is not connected to other mirrors, I can't travel I from say... this mirror to another. Or, I mean, I could use other mirrors as ways to come in and out. Yeah, I'll say, so, like, the, the, this entire, so this entire cathedral is built like a, um, a greenhouse. So, it, they're not technically mirrors, but I'll allow it because there aren't any mirrors around. Um... And the the uh, where they're connected, um, a lot of times with some greenhouses, there was like a little bit of metal between them connecting them. Um, but this one, it's it's just uh, glass to glass, so you can you can travel all over this thing fairly quickly. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you to tell me what page that monster is on, because I'm gonna need to look at their shit, because I don't know how this thing works. Um, you might want to check out the little Discord thingy I sent you to, because oh, thank you. Um, I tried balancing them out a little bit. Oh, uh, sweet. They are on page three hundred and six. Thank you. Um. So. Uh, since I can see everything that's going on, um, I'm not, okay, I'm yeah. not this so creature, by the way. Jump I, into a mirror of 30 feet. I just have, because of the cut, the cut paste yeah. option druid, I have the mirror portal ability, but that's it at the moment. Okay. Um, I look around and I'm like, hmm, interesting. I wonder if this will work. And I look at the flying creature. And I attempt to cast Earthbind on it. Okay. Which requires a strength saving throw. Oof. Oh, hey, he's actually proficient in that. Oh, cool. Thanks. Not that it's going to help my dice rolls, but... Is there anything that can ever help your dice rolls, Ken? Okay. Don't Magnet. talk shit. For the one and only time tonight, I rolled an 18 and a 19. So I was gonna say, wait, wait, it wait got before. a 23. All right. Wait to see me till we see what the results are before you start talking shit and you get <laughs> killed by it. Yeah, right. that's fair. Um, the yellow straps of magical energy would try to loop around it and bind it out of the air, but it, okay. it, it obviously succeeded. But I see that the spell went off and it worked in a way. And I go, I wondered if it saw me. And that's my turn. Yeah, okay. Um, Onyx, what would you yes. like to do? Uh, you can very clearly see this portal. I'll say that you were standing next to Passion. Uh, I'll say that this thing is 50 feet away from where you and Passion and Sammy are. Uh, did I see the guy open the portal, or did I just see the portal appear? Mm, you just saw the portal appear. It's you're right. you're relatively short, and it is fucking yeah. chaos. How high is the flying boy? Um, maybe about twenty feet off the ground. Okay, let me check something. <laughs> Pull up the uh, jump calculator. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can jump that high, Hera. We all need rocket boots. I am a monk. Give it time. I am a monk. Okay, so according to the jump calculator, I can reach up and grab something that is 23.1 feet off the ground when I use Step of the Wind. <laughs> so I'm going to use Step of the Wind. Okay. Jump up at this thing and okay. grapple it. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and make I think your... I'm still raging. I'm not sure. I'll say sure. Okay. Because when are you not? And this is just an athletics or um, acrobatics, athletics right? or uh, acrobatics. Yes. Okay. It has to be the twenty-eight. It can't. <laughs> um, however, 
Um, as you get within, uh, as you jump up and grab it, it sort of like one of the heads turns down to look at you. Um, and out of the corner of your eyes, you start seeing this weird, um, like purple aura. Um, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, where's my con? There's my con. Um, 18. Okay. Um, so, um, you succeeded, so you take half, so you take nine necrotic damage. So I take four necrotic damage. Oh, oh shit, you're a, a bear barbarian? I forgot that. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> a bear barbarian. A bear barbarian. And... Since I have it now grappled, um, that was my one attack. I cannot punch it. Or actually bite it. <laughs> uh, so what are you, what part are you biting? Because this is what this thing looks like. It's mostly like weird uh, wing texture and skulls. Doesn't have like a tongue hanging out of there. It does not. Here, I'll take a picture of it. And send yeah, that's because it's very hard better. to see on the tiny thing yeah. and not super high definition camera. Are you trying to French the monster? I mean, she, <laughs> she kind of like grabbed onto the wings, right? Because um, when a flying creature or when a creature gets its movement reduced to zero, they have a trouble flying. <laughs> Typically, yeah. yeah, yeah We're yeah. both going to fall 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Making me definitely not regret that changing full damage uh, concept, Arya. Well, I mean, you have to have something to test it out on. Yeah, Valid. exactly. Oh, why am I putting this in the general chat? I'm just going to scare everyone. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> uh, it is in the corruption chat. That's in the in-character group chat. Oh, fuck nuggets. Which I guess cool. she's straight up biting down on one of those wings. Like, she's pulling herself up like she's, like, doing, like, pull-ups. And then just, like... <laughs> it's a 27 to hit, by the way. That hits? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that, that wasn't very much damage. I rolled badly. Um, that is only two, seven, nine damage. Okay. Um. And your fisk, your uh, attacks count as magical, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think you're out of stuff, yeah? Mm hmm mm -hmm. Oh, That's yeah, my turn. cool. All right. Um, and at the end of your turn, uh, both of you fall. Yep. <laughs> but is anyone really surprised? No. No. Uh, so, for those at home, um, I have always had issues with the falling damage in 5e, so I've decided I'm going to change it. Um, and I am basing this heavily off of the way that Pathfinder 2nd Edition does their damage. Uh, so when you fall more than five feet, you take uh, damage equal to half the distance fallen. Um, but if, you're, if your name is like it's less four impressive. characters and starts with O, it's four times that amount. <laughs> However, it maxes out at a much higher distance of uh, 1,500 feet. Uh, so falling 20 feet, both of you uh, just take 10 damage. So Onyx presumably takes none because you're a fucking monk. Nope. I don't have slow fall. Slow fall is level 7, I believe, and I'm level <laughs> 6 monk. You take Let me just check, though. 5. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> Five damage. I'm now below 100 HP. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I'm no. in power word kill range. That means That's I'm valid. in power word kill range. Hera, yeah. It's fine. I can heal you with the bonus action. <laughs> but will you? Cat's like, don't take this away from me. Uh, so, anything else Onyx is doing? 
Uh, nope, that's my turn. Okay. Um. Let's see. Hmm. There is no one else in melee. Uh, and the creature that comes barreling through this portal, you can probably tell isn't the wisest because you're not entirely sure where it has room for a brain when its mouth is in its chest. Um, and yeah, it is going to run up at, to Cybris and make its uh, uh, multi-attacks. Um... Yeah, it is going to hit you, try and hit you with, uh, why not, with two slam attacks. That's cocked. Okay, so the first one is a lot. That's a 29 to hit. Success. Yeah, and the other one is a 26. Sorry, that's 24. A, that's um, success. So, uh, because you were hit by both of them in the same turn uh, as it slams into you, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Fourteen. I have okay. advantage of plus eight, and I got a, I got a fourteen. Oh, man. Why does every the defragger is a cursed class? I have never seen, I've never known a person who played a defragger and doesn't have shit rolls other than Vex. You played one for like two hours. Fuck off. Barely counts. And I still and I, and I rolled a double nat twenty. <laughs> doesn't count. You're flowing off, throwing off the curve. You should. You're an outlier. Vex you literally stole all the luck from all the other defraggers. <laughs> I'm like uh, so Goku the first with, with, the, with the spirit bomb. <laughs> um, the first strike, uh, Cyberus, is 17 damage. Okay. Uh, and the second one is 18. Uh, and you gain one level of exhaustion. Oof. As, I mean, uh, these, like, heavy talent things that it has just burrow into your flesh, and you almost feel like the energy being sucked out of you. Uh. Hey, what what does one level do? Minus is that disadvantage on everything? Uh, it's um, disadvantage on ability checks, so yeah. uh, skill checks, basically. Okay, I want to use In my combat. Reaction. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. That does not hit, unfortunately. It's okay. I rolled minimum damage anyways. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's its turn. Uh, top mm -hmm. of the round, uh, Tomo. There's these big, ugly, scary things on the field that just came through a portal. Um, which, as soon as the, um, I'm just gonna call them what they are, the Gug. Although you guys don't know the name. Uh, as soon as the Gug exited, um, the portal closed. Such an ugly name. Yeah. By the way, those wondering, they're from the Tome of Beasts. They're fucking awesome. And this is the pocket edition, except it's for men's pockets, because I can barely fit my cell phone in my pocket, let alone this thing. And even um, we don't have... That's, yeah. that's a lie. I've seen pockets that are that big. That's Tome Kevin Beast. can fit it in his cargo uh, cargo pad pockets. Ooh, yeah. That's Tome of Beast 1 from Cobalt Press, correct? Mm-hmm. They uh, currently have their Kickstarter going for Tome of Beast 2, I think. Or no, it's probably ended by now. I think it might have ended. I think we might have back. I, I don't know. I, 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 like, I have no idea what we'll be back. Kevin just says, hey, tough. go fill out the survey, and I do it. <laughs> I just I just know their monsters are great, and I get emails for their, the Tome of Beast 2. And I look forward to it. Yeah. Um, so, what would Tomo like to do? Um... Hmm. Excuse me while I eat my fucking dinner at seven o'clock at night. I um, mean, same, but I, I passed out for a couple hours after I got home. Um, let me check my special moves here. 
because it's been a while. Um, are they in a, a line by any chance? Are they anywhere near each other? No, nah, it wouldn't matter. I'd have to get closer. Yeah, where... Uh... Also, watch your, uh, watch, watch your uh, AoE. There is collateral damage nearby. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say... Normally they wouldn't be, but considering the Flutterflesh is on the ground now, they would be. However, Onyx would also be in that line. Uh, and possibly eh, also Onyx Cyberus, since Gu and possibly also Cyberus, since the Gug is in uh, melee combat with him as well. Oh, okay. I was going to say, yeah, I mean, I, if it was just Onyx, Onyx can take it, but like, you know, Cyberus, Cyberus is, a... is made out of hit points, my man. Nah, he's a <laughs> squishy <laughs> defragger. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Um, I'll just take a shot at it. I feel like this is the most damage that Cyberus has ever taken. Yeah, <laughs> cumulative. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll just shoot at it. Probably okay. not with a six. Which one are you shooting at? The, um, the Flutterflesh or the Gug? That one, because I don't like it. Okay, valid. A six does not hit. <laughs> Oh, wait, do I have... I think I should... Do I have two attacks now? I think I have two attacks. Yes, now. you should have two attacks now. Okay, well, let's try this again. Second You're full class seven. mentioned, so you should. No, I'm not. Anyway, oh, yeah. uh, 13. It, like, hits the, um, the flesh. Because this thing is not wearing armor. It is basically naked and covered in bits of fur. And it hits like what looks like fleshy muscle and just deflects right off it. The fuck am I fighting? A necromorph? <laughs> yes. Great. Uh, sorry, Bruce, you tyrannies. are aware, considering you took it to the face, that's all muscle. It is covered in natural armor. Got it. We need Grep to see this thing. Um. And You're not sure from where, but you hear. I hear. I see it. Um, Just flex anything else the you're shots doing, right Tomo? Off. That was your action. Um, I'll get a little bit closer to it. Okay. Um, so I will say that you were probably about fifty feet away from it. So are you moving your full movement up towards it? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, after your turn, it's going to use a legendary action. It turns to you. Uh, and it wasn't until now, now that the mouth has closed, you see these red beady eyes on either side of the mouth just focus on you. And like the torso or the head leans down and it full barrel runs straight towards you. Jesus um, Christ, it is a necromorph. It moves... 20 feet, so it, it is now right next to you, but yeah, it's, it's used cool. as a legendary action. So, uh, Passion, what would you like to do? Um, well, the debate is if do I go for the Flutter Flash or do I go for the gr the Gug? No, for now, I'm going to go with the Flutter Flash. Give me a deck save. Oh. As I'm using... I'm going to use Sacred Flame, because I haven't used that, and I can make use of so much damage because of it. Uh, Dex? Yes. 19. Damn it. Just beat it. All right. He doesn't... I don't get shit, then. Okay. Uh, Hera, I have a question for you. Can you restrain... Nope. Nope. All right. Uh, then, as a, but as a bonus action, I will... Um... How bad is Onyx look, Hera? <laughs> All right. Am I within 60 feet of Cybris? I'll see ya. All right. Uh, one, two, three D6s. I'm going to use Healing Light. Ooh. This is the Warlock thing, right? Yes. Oof, that's almost double damn double max there. 
I got a six, a five, and a four. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 HP back. Cybris. Thank Not you. a lot, but it's, it's more than, than you had before. I mean, it's, it's basically one it's, of those hits negated in terms of damage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. roughly. Yeah, I got six more of that I can use, and that's my turn. Cool. Um, on its, uh, uh, after your turn, uh, the Guck is going to use one of its other legendary actions uh, to make a slam attack against Tomo. Come on and slam. <laughs> I, I just imagine it like walking like running up to her and just like slam dunking her <laughs> uh that's actually what it does it has like these four meaty claws and it actually takes both of them at the same time and basically it attempts to like pin you to the ground its claws are maybe about yay long or so hey i have um, that copyrighted <laughs> Uh, that is a 16 to hit you, Tomo. Nope. Cool. You just managed to, uh, dodge out of the way. Um. I told her to do that. <laughs> uh, that's its, uh, legendary action. Uh, what would Cyberus like to do? I'm gonna run up and uh, hit it with my weapon and activate my arms and attack with those as well. Okay. Doing the general Grievous. <laughs> uh, 16 for the shield attack. No? Miss. Yeah, they both missed then. <laughs> Oof. The other was like a nine or something. And I'll call out, take this one seriously. You have, um, you pulled out your arms though. How many weapons do you have? Just that big cleaver. Oh, I'm you using don't have a like another sword or, or anything. Okay. It's using both arms for that, though. Oh, okay. Because I'm so like you have four arms, so one is empty. Well, the two on the back are using the two-handed weapon, mm -hmm. and then the other two are using shields. One oh, of which. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you were dual wielding shields. Okay, cool. Dual yeah. wield shields. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's your everything, I think, right? Yep. Hmm. I'm gonna roll a dice. That's never a good thing with cat. Okay. Yep. It's gonna go after Tomo. Uh, on its last legendary action. <laughs> Poor Tomo. <laughs> just gonna I'm so, I'm so glad I could make it burn <laughs> all three of its legendary actions. Uh, <laughs> that's a twenty-three to hit. Oof. Nope. Doesn't hit me. I'm invincible. <laughs> <laughs> The problem uh, is legendary actions are sadly not burned, just used. <laughs> uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Yikes. Um, and the Flutterflesh's turn. It's prone, by the way, and still grappled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Onyx is also prone, but they're bo both prone. <laughs> it's not getting up. It's not getting away from Onyx. Unless it can teleport. <laughs> that now realizing mm. she should have sent him a, 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 a huge monster. Okay, so first off, on its turn, it is actually uh, those... Uh, you realize, Onyx, now that you're, like, holding on to it, those, like, um, bits of, like, crystalline feather sort of things, uh, you realize now are hardened, crystallized, what looks like pieces of human flesh. You're pretty sure that that's a tattoo on one of them. Yikes. And the other one has, like, a pretty gnarly hey, scar. it has a tramp stamp. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um... So it's going to regain 10 hit points using its regeneration. Um, actually, uh, Demona hit with that Agonizer Scorcher, right? Yep. 
Okay, it can't do that this round. Um, fuck it, it's gonna make two. Um, <laughs> so stupid, but okay, it's gonna do it anyway. Uh, two burn spur attacks uh, Don't against forget, they're Onyx. At mm, I'm also prone, so I think it levels out because it would get advantage um, because I'm also prone. If two people that are prone are fighting, they um, it doesn't say anything about the attacker. I think if you're prone, others get advantage and maybe to hit you. But it's a ranged attack, right? Hmm? No, Bones. it's a melee attack. Oh, then it would yeah, it would cancel out. Be normal. It would cancel yeah. out each other. Yeah, so it's just a straight attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you um, prone, Harry? God damn it! <laughs> yeah. Get up. <clears throat> Uh, so the first one is probably definitely a miss with a 12. Uh, the second yes. one, however, is a 23. That's a hit. Um, and it deals 2d12 damage. Ouch. Uh, so oh. well, two. plus some. Uh, two so <laughs> not quite. Um, it, 13 points of damage, so six to you. Oh no, I'm down to 90 HP. Yeah, hard, hard. <laughs> um, uh, and you notice that it is, um, it doesn't make a difference to you, uh, but it seems as if it's trying to do uh, piercing damage. It's, it's like trying to pierce through that hard exterior of metal and stone surrounding you. Okay. Um, and that's the Flutterflesh's turn. Uh, Demona, what would you like to do? Onyx, do you wish us for assistance? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> How close is the the guck, the disgusting thing? Gug. Gug, thank you. Uh, 20 feet. Even though I moved back away from the portal? Oh, okay, hang well, on. It moved around, though. Okay, yeah. so... I backed away from Cybris. Yeah, yeah, okay, so... To Cybris, didn't it? Yeah. It went to Tomo and it's Matt. ten feet away from you. Yeah, it went to me. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm it's ten feet away from you now because it used it used half its movement. It it moved twenty from where it was when it was standing next to our cyber. So it's ten feet away from you. Okay. So not going to run away, but I'm definitely backing away tactically. <laughs> Tactical <laughs> retreat. I'm tactically fleeing. Uh, no, not fleeing. Just backing <laughs> up. There's a difference. I'm not running because I'm about to cause the disengage. Bravely <laughs> ran away. Bravely <laughs> ran away, he said. <laughs> um, do I know if it has any elemental resistances? Um, you can go ahead and make an Arcana check, but you know that this thing being corrupted, Why you're not, not super experienced with it. So you can go ahead and roll though. Yeah, I kind of want to know just to be on the safe side. Oh, it's it's corrupted. Oh, that is just so good to know. <laughs> oh, are you dealing extra damage? I apologize. Okay, how much extra damage? Oh wait, you no, I don't think any of you have hit yet. <laughs> so twenty six on the Arcana. Okay, um, so you've not ever seen anything like this. It's fucking weird. You have, however, done a little bit of study on the multiverse, and you're pretty sure, now that you've thought about it, you've seen that portal spell before. You've read about it in the Arachnid Library. Okay. Um, an insight here. That the, does not answer my question. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm aware. Okay, just make sure. You're pretty sure that thing came from the realm of corruption. Um, which means that it is heavily corrupted. Um, and based on the like hardened exterior flesh and just like the general look of it, you're guessing that maybe like poison won't do much to it. Um, but other than that, you're not getting the sense that it has any other like weaknesses or uh, resistances. Okay. Um, one or two, one or two, one or two. You know what? This is a prime time for me to use my D2 coin. Yeah. Fireball it is. <laughs> nice. Yes. Always fireball. Only fireball. Well, it was a choice between that and, and using my evoker ability to bend it around or 
use something else to do a slightly different style. So, uh, yeah, deck saving throw, please. Cool. 19. Damn. I'm sorry. The dice are really kind to me tonight, not you guys. Uh, I, I, I did make the joke of don't make fun of her rolls until we see how she's rolling today. <laughs> this is true, but it only beats me by two, which means it still takes half damage. But I do have a quick question on that. My ability allows me to increase the damage by my int modifier. Is that included in the total that's then halved, or is it half of what I roll plus five? Half of what you um, roll plus five. I would say that it'd be half the total. Okay. Wait, half the total. Well, it's relevant. So that's a 30 for the fireball, making it half is 15. And then actually adding the five on top of that for 20. Okay. I am going to have to trust one of you guys to look that up if you want to, because my phone just decided, like, you don't need the toolbar. Like, that's yeah, not it's, useful. What we, it's what more like adding strength or dex to an attack, is what it is, effectively. Yeah. And if it's you do like that, having, then you have the total. Yeah. It's like me having the warlock, um, what the warlock uh, thing that gives me five extra damage to my uh, Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Okay. So total of 20 fire damage to the face. Okay. So half of that would be 10. No, 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 no. Oh, that's half. Oh, okay. My original nice. roll was 30. 20. Half was 15 plus the five mod, which is 20. It, it'd be five before the halving. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Five it's like when you make half. a physical attack and you get plus five to strength. Yeah. So, so it would 16. be 35 halved. For whatever reason, the way you said it made me think I, the very first thing was the half plus five. But anyways. It's all good. Hey, so, yeah. you can clear that up now, right? So 17 fire. Yes, 17 okay. fire. Oh, kitty. Oh, cat. Kitty. No. Oh. <laughs> I love oh. just how angry Alt looks. <laughs> Alt always looks angry. You're not wrong. No offense. No offense. Alt is a Viking. No. I, am an, I am an angry looking Viking dude. Uh, So... Uh, it's fitting that my phone was like, ah, yes, I'm going to stop working, and I'm also going to attempt to send just the letter F to the group chat. Yep, <clears throat> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else you're doing, Demona? Um, that was my move and my action, so okay. I'm holding anything else I got. Okay. Uh, Gruck, you are up. What would you like to do? I apologize. Um, you're going to hate me. Uh-huh. Um... And as this battle's going on, and as Onyx is grappling the, the anti May, as Barkley called it when you accidentally sent it to the chat, mm -hmm. um, popping out of the ground, almost like they almost look like toadstools. But as they pop out of the ground, uh, they become much bigger and they're medium sized toads. 16 okay. of them are conjured. <laughs> I hate you. Badger, 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 badger. What is this, Naruto? Yes. And I, I mean, I'm, I gotta go with it. You guys made, said I'm a Naruto character, yeah. so I gotta... So, all of them go after the Gug. <laughs> You're rolling that shit. I already rolled. Oh, good. Seven of them hit, two of them were crits. Okay. Do you know... Uh, oh, are you looking at his stats? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, how did you know it's AC? Only oh, because I'm rolling for 16 attacks. It. Okay. Um, uh... How much damage? So the two crits. We're doing the retro first rolls. Oh yeah. Okay, let me. I didn't double check them. A twelve and a nat one. So um... one of them is roll plus max. Mm -hmm. One is max. Uh, I'm not going to roll the damage because no. Um... Yeah, just take the average. Well, I'll roll that extra crit one. A whopping, oh, max, of course. Uh, 20, no, 32 piercing damage. Nice. And it is grappled. Ironically enough. Does not have a size limit for their grapple. So I like what to think. What size are they, though? I, yeah, I was about to say this is very comedical. Because, because they're well, the medium size. Is... And the grapple doesn't mean that it's got it swallowed. 
So the I like to think is... comedically they're just like attached to it and you just can't move. Uh, the other thing is, though, uh, when you're grappled, um, you can only grapple things that are one size larger than you. Oh, yep. Then they're not. Then it's not grappled. Yeah, because it, it's huge size. It could easily make the strength check to get out of it. Yeah. But yeah, that's my turn. It's a shame. Yeah. That'd be really fun. Just all these these uh, frogs just attach. They all look like they all look like uh, uh, how Gruck used to look. They're all like gray. Stuff. Awesome. Okay, uh, so that's Grux's turn, yeah? Mm-hmm. 16 medium-sized creatures just entered the group. Um, are you out of wild shape, though? I was never in wild shape. I got out of wild shape from the T-Rex, and then I did the mirror thing. So I'm in a mirror. I thought that was part of your wild shape. It can be if I turned into if I wild shaped into a Shatterling. But the key thing about corruption druids is they can take a trait from something they can wild shape into. Oh, oh, okay. So the copy paste thing is just on you. Okay. Yeah, there's copy right. paste okay. and there's okay. cut paste. They're too closely named. But yeah, that's that's awkward. I got okay, I'm um, keeping track of hit points. Yay. That's my turn. Uh yeah, so that's Grek's turn. Uh Onyx, what would you like to do? You have a uh you have a, a gross weird uh flesh crystal monster. Punch it. Uh, Cool. Stand Onyx is there. first getting up though. Okay. <laughs> because then she's getting advantage. Ground and pound. Ground and pound. That's in that 20. Nice. <laughs> Roll again. That's another that 20. Okay, Vex. <laughs> On the confirm. Nice. So max and then uh, roll again. Mm hmm. Um, so that is um, 18 damage on that hit for the first attack. Uh, uh, 18 then... damage. I uh, do another attack. And that is only a dirty 20. Uh, that still hits, yeah. <laughs> and... Oh, yeah. That is... 10 damage. All right. And I'm not going to flowy, but I'm going to use martial arts. That's another net 20. <laughs> and that is not another net 20, but it's a 17 on the die. So, oh, okay. Yep. Uh, so uh, max and then roll again. Yep. That is 19 damage. And just for flavor, uh, I'm going to say that basically when they fell, Onyx basically just um, landed with her elbow like on its one of its faces, then got up, and she's basically now standing like on the wings, and it's just punching down on it. <laughs> nice. Like I said, ground and pound. <clears throat> yep. It's yeah. my turn. Cool. Um, the Grog's turn. Uh, one second. Um, reading things. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Hmm. I, I really wish my army of toads could not get prone. It would be really funny. That would be really funny. They just hop onto its its mouth face and it's like... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so how many toads are there? Uh, only 16. I cast oh, it a bit okay. Only 16. Yeah. 
I mean, it's better than the swarms of ravens. Yeah, this thing's not that bright. It doesn't care. <laughs> uh, it sees a soft and squishy spellcaster, and it's going to make a beeline towards Demona. Um, so it provokes from all of them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. From thing everybody, I've... including <laughs> Tomo including and Toad. Cybris and all 16 mm-hmm. Toads. <laughs> I'll let everybody else go first. Oh, uh, real quick, that reminded me. Um, Dottie trying to position so he can kill Steel. Oh, uh, Tomo, <laughs> or not Tomo, Onyx. <laughs> I need you to make a Constitution saving throw, real quick. Scotty, I love it. I know you weren't thinking that, but that's immediately where my brain went. Twenty to something. Said, I'll let everyone else go oh, before okay. me. Uh, so you take half. Power word crap. Um, nice. Uh, 11, or sorry, uh, 10 uh, necrotic damage as you see that purple aura around you again. Uh, how much? 11? Yep. Or sorry, 10. 10. 10. So 5. five. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so Cybers, did you want to go ahead and roll your, uh, your uh, free attack against uh, the Gug? Yes, I will free attack against the Gog. I rolled a 24. That hits. Hey. Good. And then I will also use a frag strike. Nice. Okay. So that's uh, 18 damage. All right. And I get back eight of that as health. Nice. After using 20. Okay. Um... Uh, is Gruck done with his 27,000 attacks? Yeah, I was just waiting for everybody. Uh, one of them was an at 20, but I rolled to confirm it. It did not confirm. Okay. Um, this time I'll roll, because why not? There were six attacks that hit, including the crit. Um, because I rolled, I did less damage than average. So, you got that. Um, oh, I I should remove one of these, because one of those was a crit. Twenty. Cool. Nice. Okay. About. Uh, is that with the crit? That's with the crit. Yes. Okay. Uh, Tomo also got a free attack against this thing. Twenty-two. Uh, that hits. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, Bonus right damage. Back. Bonus damage. Uh. So that's 1d8, not plus, 8 plus, so that's 6 points of damage. Okay. All right. It is still moving and barreling towards Demona. Although, it can exactly get to her this turn, I believe, because you were 10 feet away from it, and then you moved back your 30 feet, and its speed is 40. I'm sorry, but... There were 16 medium-sized creatures in the way. Would it be difficult terrain? Or would it just plow right through? I mean, you could easily say it plows right through. It's so big compared to them. I'll say it makes a strength check. Too bad they don't have Sentinel. <laughs> I was going to joke one of them had Sentinel. <laughs> yeah, they have 12 strength in their medium size. So. Uh, it, it got a 27. Yeah, it, it rip, rip, yeah. rip it. <laughs> <laughs> there are frogs flying. Um... Bowling for bullfrogs. Yeah, and it's gonna make it's gonna make um Yeah, why not? It's gonna make two uh slam attacks against uh Demona. Okay, possible shield then. Come on, oh my god. Oh She's my god. 20, I'm quitting. <laughs> 
It's he a has two attacks, and I rolled them at the same time. I can't see shit. There. I got a literal. I got a one and a twenty. <laughs> Uh, At least so one, of those one, one of them is a 12, uh, and one of them is a 31. Oh, I don't think it even matters. Thing. If it's a 20, it's hidden. Yeah. Uh, that's true, yeah. yeah um, so. Hang on. Let me math. Uh, because. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I hope there's no spells you're concentrating on, because you're not anymore. No. No, the yeah. is evocation specialist. It's not that bad. It didn't confirm, so it doesn't do uh, double. Uh, so it deals 23 damage, to, uh, bludgeoning damage to you. Could be worse. Um, Hmm. 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 No, so you should strange. have waited. <laughs> <laughs> um. And let us see. Um, out of the, um, this, like, um, the midst of that crowd, um, who of you have a decent passive perception? Actually, it doesn't matter because all of you will see it. Um, uh, all of you see, uh, wading through the, the chaos of this crowd towards you. Um, it looks like the crowd is just sort of parting. Um, and for most of you, all you can see is these strange, like... <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Muting. Um, these strange, like, um, oh, tubes or, or vines of red uh, energy swarming around uh, almost look like eels. Uh, they're, they're sort of like a, a red-purple color. Um, and coming through the crowd, you see that individual in the green cloak, uh, that is completely surrounded by these, uh, winding, twirling eels of purplish energy, um, as that, uh, seeming spellcaster who opened the fray, uh, walks into view of all of you. Um, and he used his turn, so that's, that's what he does. He used his turn to make the entrance. Oh, I used to turn to cast a spell and make an entrance. Mm. Um, uh, and the Gug's turn went. So, uh, Tomo, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Mm. How far away is that spellcaster? Um, I'll say, I'll say he's like fifty feet or so. Cool, cool. Well, I guess it's time for a rushdown special then, so I'm going to summon my network cycle and charge him. Okay. <laughs> Thank the mage! Alright, does he make a deck save, or do you roll a hit? Uh, I rolled a hit. Which, okay. I closed my fucking dice roller. That's that's part of me. Good job, me. Alright. Alright. Uh, 18? Yeah, cool. it's on the dot. Ooh. Uh, you realize uh, when you get there, um, I'll say, yeah, you realize when you hit, uh, when you slam into him, the robe that he's wearing sort of rips and you realize that underneath of it, he is wearing like a, a sort of like bulletproof uh, uh, vest. Oh, I'm glad I didn't. I was going to say, I'm glad I didn't shoot him and I hit him with my chain instead, so. No, the vest doesn't matter if you shoot him in the head. That's true. Uh, so what does your uh, cycle do? Uh, it I goes vroom, vroom. Yeah, cycle goes vroom. <laughs> uh, 
I don't Sorry. know, actually. How much damage does my cycle do? Do I have that down here somewhere? Hold on. Better cycle through your stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, dealing. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, oh, 48 plus dex mod. Cool. <laughs> so increase that to four. Oops. God damn it. I keep hitting buttons. Don't do that. I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, that's 29 points of damage. To the spellcaster. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's your action, yeah? Anything else? Do I still have a uh, extra attack, or is that my entire attack action? I think your it's your whole action, but like you would ha still have a bonus action if you have anything. Okay. Um, I don't. You might not. Well, think I do. I mean, extra attack. If you're allowed to do a grapple and an attack with an extra attack, it's, I would think it's it's because it's marked as a special, a certain. It's if not marked yeah. as a full action rather than a attack action. Does it say as an action? Uh, when you reach seventh level of mass type, you can summon a bonus action. There, there you go. Something for Cat to look into. Sure. Yep. Fuck it. Go for it. Cool. Well, also, since I'm ready. Huh? Also, I asked. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I mean, he's pretty close to me, right? I mean, your cycle goes fast enough. You could be in melee with him. Oh, sweet. Hold on, let me just check one. Uh, I think you would be in melee with him because your um, cycle, you're technically supposed to be on it when you uh, uh, run is somebody over Is this the over battle charger yeah. or the... No, this is the cycle. The network cycle. Yeah, okay. I'm just looking at your changes to see if you've done anything with it. Mm, yeah. Mm, single attack, so I guess I could do that yeah it doesn't even say that it has to it just says you make an attack so i would say that for now at least treat it as one attack and then um in the future i'll look at it and be like okay sounds good to me um you know what? i'm since i got this extra attack i'm gonna hit him with one of my signature moves i think okay. roll plus three uh, 19 to hit. Hits. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to use my new one because I haven't gotten to yet and I really want to, and I don't have to get off my bike for it. So, <laughs> uh, Tesla Ray of Vengeance hit. Okay. So it's... Mm. Three SMD, so that's sorry. This is a lot of math. I just remembered. No, it's fair. Uh, three, no, not three D twelve. What the fuck are my damage dice? Three D eight. That sounds right. Yeah, I think that's correct. Three D eight. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh. So that's. It's whatever your unarmed damage is. Oh, so D6 then. I think. Yeah, 1D6 at 7th level, yeah. Yeah, okay, so 3D6. All right, oh, hey, that's still pretty good. All right, so that's uh, 13 points of electric damage. Nice. And let me just check on what everything else does with this. Okay, and then uh, they need to make a charisma saving throw. Yeah, okay, all right. That's a seven. So that's a fail. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So uh, I hope they attack someone. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, I guess... Eh, it don't matter. Hmm? I was going to describe it, but I forgot. Eh, it don't matter. Oh, okay. 
I it's mean, just it's just a it's it's literally if you play destiny at all it's literally the the arc wizards thing where she just like kind of shoots a giant beam of electricity i know what you mean hand, so i know because i played arc wizard <laughs> yeah me too it's basically like a big command AI with one hand so nice. i mean basically what demona does yeah basically <laughs> okay um so uh that's tomo's turn um Yeah, uh, Passion, what would you like to do? Um, can he, can the wit make, I would like to get, can I get within, uh, let me check, what the distance is, 60 feet of him? Of the caster? Of the mage, yes. Yeah. All right, uh, can you give me a dex save? Sure. Eleven. Yes, he fails. Oh, he's about to take some punishment here. So that's sacred flame. So, um, perfect. So he was going to take nineteen. 20, where is it? Oh, I just threw features and traits. So 18. Um, where is it? Come on, 19, 20, 20, 20 23, 24. So he takes 23 radiant damage and okay. 12 necrotic. So 35 altogether. Okay. Right. I don't know if he has a specific resistance to yeah. something. So, and one sec. Sorry, I'm just looking through. I'm just checking. The necrotic damage is from what? It's from my um, edge lord, my necrotic shroud thing. Don't you have to use an action to activate the? Shroud? I already had it activated. It's a bonus action to use it. That's right. You use that last time. Yes. Time. Okay. Yep, yeah, and it's only a bonus action. Really? I believe so. Once per long rest. No, I'm sorry, as an action, I am wrong. Was that? It was my transform. Yeah, but I think I remember you using it because I think you yeah. scared somebody with it. Okay. I, I tried to scare people with it. It didn't work. And then who looks the worst off in terms of HP in our group? Ahem, ahem. Cries and wizard. Cries I mean, and D6 not... hit dice. I'm not it's... surprised. I think Brook. I think Grok's in the same room. Grok definitely needs to be healing. You can't even fucking see Grok. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, he might as well be hiding in a boulder again. He kind of is. <laughs> a good strategy. <laughs> All right. I'm going to blow four charges of this. Get you some good healing. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen HP back. Nice, thank you. Um, and because I forgot about it, uh, is that the end of your turn, Passion? Um, I believe so. Yes. Okay. Um, I need Tomo to make a a wisdom saving throw. Um, and this guy needs to make some concentration checks. 21. Okay, so you take half. Um, uh, eight damage, eight um, necrotic damage. as those red snakes burrow in and bite into your flesh and it seems like they sort of phase through you. Um, um, and yeah, he'd lost concentration on it. Uh, and as soon as they, uh, he gets hit by the cycle, that spell fades, seemingly. Do um, I have something for necrotic because I'm a eternal rye? I think you have resistance, right? I think so. I don't know. I don't have. So a, you would take four. Well, it's, it's not right, if I. Sh 
all Rai have um, resistance to their associated energy type. Okay. I must have just forgotten to write it down because I just have the damage bonus thing. But okay, cool. What's damage for me? So it did become eight, and now it's four. Eternal ride is your eternal ride, right? Oh, they don't have resistance to it. To it. Wait, what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I in my, in my in my sheet it says I don't have resistance. It just yeah, says I have they have resistance. they have the defeat death, which means they can't die of old age. Yep. They last have the memories. last memories, so I can see what happened to speak someone with dead. dead. Speak with dead, and they have the elemental specialty, which means they can. Um, What's I can their damage. What's their the elemental is, specialty, though? though? Necrotic. Necrotic. Then yeah. you have resistance to it. It, it says it earlier in the stat block. Yep. Huh. Okay. It's weird. Yeah. I'll see if there's a neater way to write that. Um. Uh, yeah, that seems also. I'm not gonna lie. That seems like they get way too much for a race, a, fee, a racial thing. Just a bit too much. Um. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh boy, this sounds fun. Yeah, he's going to make a grab attack. Um, at the wizard. Who is? Uh, the Grug. Oh. He's going to use his legendary action to grab, try and grab Demona. Uh, so he makes a weapon attack. Um, that's a 28. <laughs> Lovely. For your rip, Demona. Um, uh, it deals no damage, but you are grappled. Uh, so you are spoo your spood. Your, your spood is zero. <laughs> oh no, I'm spood. Uh, your speed is zero, and you can't move away from him unless you uh, attempt to escape with a athletics or acrobatics check. Demona yeah. smiles. Uh, yeah, I'm that's his legendary action. Uh, Cybers, what would you like to do? Uh, uh, the gug is uh, forty feet away from you. Uh, there is now a spellcaster, uh, I'll say like 20 feet away from you in like the opposite side. Um, and then, uh, Onyx is ground and pounding that poor Flutterflesh, uh, to death about 20 feet in the opposite direction. I'm going to cast a spell magic on the enemy caster. I will say... You can see that it looks like that spell has already faded. Oh, if they, yeah, never mind. Then. He lost concentration when uh, he took the motorcycle damage. Oh, good. The network cycle damage. In that case, I will deactivate my arms and run 30 feet to the gug and then throw my shield at it. Okay. I think I can only frag strike and melee, right? I think so, yeah. It actually doesn't say. Or maybe it says something. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'll attack him with that. Uh, natural 20. Yeah, hey. that hits. Roll again to see if you uh, roll twice. Uh, five. For the second. Uh, yeah, so just max damage. Still max damage. Wait, when did we stop using the crit chart? Uh, for Retroverse, we don't use the crit chart. Ah. Because Retroverse has its own crit rules, which we're testing. Copy that. The max damage is nine. Okay. Nine. Can I use Frag Strike or no? I'm looking at it now and the fucking thing just crashed. I think it's a melee attack. Both the other, the vaccine and the data defraggers, theirs is only a melee attacks. All right, then. Okay, but nine damage. How, how much would the strike do maximized? Because the strike would be maxed as well. It would be. It, it would was be, five but, these, but it, if I could use it. Oh, he I threw a shield. He threw a ranged yeah, weapon. Oh, I thought you were doing a melee attack. I, okay, my bad. A ranged melee attack. <laughs> like my martial spell attack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's Cyberus's turn, yeah? Yep. Okay. Uh, the Flutterflush 
Let go of me, you rock. <laughs> Onyx cast Earthbind. It was super effective. You're not grappling it anymore. So it's going to use half its movement to fly the fuck up for 30 feet. Mm, hold on. I'm still grappling it. You stood up. Yeah, you can't stand up if you are, are grappling because your own movement speed is also zero. No, it's not. That's because you can drag things. When you're grappling something, you are also grappled with it. No, no, I'm not. No? You're not grappled when, when you grapple someone. You can still move. That's how you drag people around. Uh, yeah, you, you can. Yeah. Is it you move half speed? Is that what it was? Yeah. So you used your full move to get up last turn, essentially. But she doesn't need to because she's a. Um... I only need five feet movement. Yeah, because she's a drunken monk. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> I like it. So it's still okay. grappled. Uh, it doesn't care then. It's not going to use that anyway. Um, it can attack with me, me with disadvantage if I'm it wants. I'm going to say it's going to make a perception check to see if it can see any uh, anyone else in the crowd. It sees a lot of frogs. So um, <laughs> Onyx and one frog need to make a wisdom saving throw as it uses its tormenting gaze again. No. Robert. Uh, wisdom, okay. Uh, that's Eight. not great. Eight. That's a 14. <laughs> oh, this is fucking brutal. Okay, so um, both uh, Onyx and the frog take 15 psychic damage. Oof, oh. the one thing I'm not immune to. It is uh, resistant. It is still somehow alive. <laughs> um, and they are both uh paralyzed. Oof. For one round. Oof. Brutal. I hope that was its action. Yeah, that was that was its also, action. Also, uh, what does one round mean? Until the beginning of I'll say its until next the turn. Until the beginning of next. That's next why turn. you don't it's use the term one round. round. Yeah, like. <laughs> no, it's it's one of my biggest gripes. I like every designer that uses one round. I want to take the fucking book and slap them with it because that is the most like. Does it mean until the end of the current round? Does it mean until the beginning of their next turn, of my next turn, at the end of my next turn, of the end of their next turn? There's so many interpretations for this, and um, that is why you should always specify. <laughs> however, uh, Onyx also needs to make another constitution saving throw against that weird purple aura that it has. Oh, fuck me. It's the frog. Uh, that's within. a fail. Uh, so 15 necrotic damage. Uh, the frog, I do not think, is uh, in the area. It's 30 feet. Okay, good. Uh, what was it? 15 necrotic? Uh, 15, yes. 1, 5. 15, so 7. Okay, yeah. Uh, and that's the Flutterflush's turn. Uh, you have reduced me officially to half my HP, by the way. Oh. Uh, Demona, it's your turn. You are grappled by the big, scary uh, mouth monster. You see 16, well, 15 frogs. <laughs> 15 frogs they're, hopping they're coming angrily to your towards you. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't have a face she can blow smoke in. So I'll just take the action to Thunderstep. I mean, its torso is a mouth, so you could just right. make it eat it. Yeah, it'd be towards the eyes. So yeah, Thunderstep. That's Instantaneous a teleportation. Yeah. Con save. Yep, Constitution saving I'm through the and with your casters. Yeah, um, <laughs> the uh, Gruck. You are how far away from me? Good question. How far away was that mirror thing? That mirror shard that's just sitting I'll on the ground. I'll say, it, I don't think it was on the ground. I think you were in the uh, on the cathedral. Um, I'll say that it's about forty feet away from where Demona is standing right now. Perfect, because Thunder Steps is 90, so I'll teleport on top of the cathedral. You can't get to the top of the cathedral. You can get to, like, the wall. The top of the cathedral. The cathedral is, like, over 
cathedral is probably like I'm 100 feet or so tall smaller vestiges yeah oh uh, teleport, yeah teleport to the wall to okay the wall. okay okay and you see grux reflection i'm not invisible that's disturbing um and uh yeah it's it's a it's con save was a 12. <laughs> no we must roll a one that's 20 damage to the face Oh wait, wasn't there something else? The the gug and something else was coming up to attack me, or was it just the gug? Oh, the the gug ran up to attack you, and then there was a spellcaster that had waited in. How close was the um, spellcaster? The spellcaster was, I think, at like thirty feet away from the rest of you guys. Okay, then it wouldn't matter. Um, okay, so just the gug. Yeah, that's a shame. He was excited to have you grapple. It's, it's stupid pity to grapple somebody who is basically made out of lava but okay um yeah so uh that's demona's turn that's demona's turn okay so the gug's turn the gug's turn are you uh the legendary? gug's legendary action okay. sorry um cybers you're 10 feet away from this thing right i sure am Cool. It's going to try and grab you next uh, because it has reached 10 feet. Unsurprising. Oh, the fuck. Stay in the dice tray dice. Uh, that is a 23 to hit you. It does. Okay. You are grappled. Is that considered an attack then? Can I use my reaction to attack it back? It's considered a melee weapon attack, so yes. I'm not good at these apparently. Tw uh, 12? 12 is not good. I yeah, that last you're trying to hit it and the, the shield is just like not doing anything. You're like trying to smash its face in, but it doesn't really have like a nose or anything. Like you hear the teeth grating against the metal of your shield, but it doesn't seem phased by it. So I'm grappled then? Uh, you are grappled, yes. That's fine. Um, Grok, it's your turn. What okay. do you want to do? Um, froggies first. Um, all of them continue attacking what I the only thing I commanded them to attack, which is the big mouth faced creature. Um, I minus one of their dice because one of them's paralyzed. Um, okay. And it looks like it's about to die. Uh, the other 15 attack, two of them were nat 20s. I already rolled ahead of time. One confirmed, one didn't, for a total of 20 damage total. Okay. And then Gruck, on his turn, how far away is the caster from the cathedral wall? Mm, about 30 feet. Nothing reflective around him, though, is there? Not really, no. Um... That's fine. It's okay. Uh, Demona, you see my reflection come out of the glass, and as it does, the panel I'm in shatters. Uh, and I use my move to move all the way up to the caster. And as I'm moving up to the caster, uh, claws grow on me as I cast Primal Savagery, covered okay. in glass shards that do an extra d6 damage because of this. Nice. Um, destroying the mirror in the, or whatever in the process. And yeah. uh, I strike with it, and not only do I strike with it, but I also use my uh, Void Rye ability to add extra damage. Yes. Oh. And as you're doing the whole moving through the glass thing, Demona just goes, Dobry vecher, Krok. And watch me not one. Hmm, let's see. 16. Uh, you dig those glass shards in, and it looks like he sort of, like, turns, and most of it catches in that, like, Kevlar bulletproof uh, vest thing he's wearing. His robes, are, robes however, are, like, torn to shreds, <laughs> considering you just hit him with a fuckload of glass. Um, but you did not get through his uh, armor class, unfortunately. Fair enough. That's my turn. Okay. Um... I am now out in the field. I fall over. Paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get um, up. Um. 
uh, the Gug is going to use uh, his legendary, ac- his last legendary action. Um, yeah, he is going to attempt to swallow Cyberus. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. I know what's going to happen if he does. <laughs> That's going to be like an apple with razor blades in it. Um. So. Um. That is. Fucking really. Even my dice rollers hate me. Oh, okay. All right. It has a plus to it. Fourteen uh, bludgeoning damage. Everyone point and laugh to right. I rolled three. I rolled three dice, and on those three dice, two of them were one. Fourteen bludgeoning. Is there an attack roll involved or no? Uh, there is not. Uh, it so the the gug swallows one creature. It has grappled, um, oh. and then you take damage, and then. Um, while you're inside of it, you can potentially fuck it up some more because, like, its armor class is softer on the inside. Uh, so that's um, and 14 bludgeoning. Um, and uh, 19 acid damage as uh, nope, not a, not that 19 damage yet. That's at the start of its turn. Yeah. So it'll never happen. Uh, so you are no longer grappled, uh, but you are blinded and restrained. Uh, you have total cover attacks against attacks and other effects from outside the gug. Hey, did that um, did that wizard make an attack on someone? Uh, he hasn't gone yet, I don't think. Oh, okay. I thought I might have just missed it. No, nah, sorry. Um, that's the last of the gug's legendary actions. Uh, Onyx, uh, you are paralyzed. Um, and then on the Gog's turn, um, Cyberus, uh, at the start of his turn, you take that 19 damage. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, 19 acid, by the way. All right. Um, let's see, what other foes are nearby? Hmm. Lots of frogs. Pop it all over yeah. its face. Yeah, it's not that bright. It's going to try and smash some uh, frogs. What's the bonus to hit? Uh, plus 11. Okay, roll for crits. Okay. Uh, no crits. Okay. And net ones. And net ones. Net ones always miss. Mm-hmm. True, true. No net one or net 20. Um, they and... have an armor class of 11. So uh... <laughs> Uh, it's, it is literally just stomping around, crushing them, um, and its average damage on a stomp is 20. Okay, um, how many attacks does it do against them? Uh, One. just two. Just two? Okay. Minus two frogs. Okay. Um. If it attacked yeah. a paralyzed frog, it would auto-crit it. Yeah, but the paralyzed frog is probably on the further end away from where it is. Yeah, it didn't get to hop over to where it was at. Yeah. Uh, and that's the Grug's turn. Uh, Tomo, it's your turn. Uh, actually, I lied. The caster goes after Grug. Hmm. Alt looks so offended right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it might do a thing, though. Um. I mean, it's gonna do a thing because, oh, it went after Grug like an attack? N- no, no, no. It goes after the Gug. Sorry. Oh, I thought you meant it was attacking Grug. No, um. It might. I mean, I just ran out and swiped at him. Oh, you are in melee with him, aren't you? Oh boy, am I? Not, not you. Uh, both of you are actually. I think Tomo is as well, right? Yep. Yeah, because you hit him with a uh... motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> you hit him with a motorcycle. You know, <laughs> as you do sometimes. So that's a, that's a Why Friday. am I suddenly it's reminded of Devil do. May Cry? Because that's exactly what it is. Because that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that I'm or the new guy this. in the Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh, they added like this new guy that has like this crazy bike. Oh yeah! No, but... no spoilers! <laughs> Fuck you! That's not a spoiler. That's not even a spoiler. But but I doesn't would, like in, in Cavalier. I think it's Devil May Cry. Has a yeah, it's not, Final Fantasy. I'm not saying anything else about it. In Devil it's May Final Cry, Fantasy someone Fantasy. literally uses the motorcycle as a weapon, right? Yeah, Dante, Dante, it's, Dante, well, Dante. there's two. There's two okay. cases of that. They did that on the there's three <laughs> cases of that. There's three cases of that because Triss uses it once, Dante uses it once in Devil May Cry 2, and then Devil May Cry 5, there's Cavalier. Any, anyway, what is the wizard doing? Um, 
you use conjure animals to get those things, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at fifth level. Yeah, that's that's going to be the spell in a moment. Dead rag. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, uh, he is going to. Um, I need uh, Grok mm -hmm. to, he's going to reach out and point to you. And I need you to make a charisma saving throw, please. Sweet 11. Um, you guys see Grok. Uh, that weird sort of um, uh, purple energy appears below him, that like rip in space, and Gruck vanishes. You are banished. Um, so, your so folks are attack. still there. However, it's Actually, not, unfortunately. Wait a minute. Okay, just make it sure. All right. Um, so, your frogs are still there, uh, but while you are unable to make. Um, what kind of banishment for them? are we talking about? Uh, the spell. Yeah, there's multiple variations within the spell. The banishment. Oh. Am I in a little ruby? Am I. Did he have. What component worth. No, you're thinking, the wrong, you're thinking no, the wrong spell. You're thinking imprisonment, yo. He's not a ninth level caster. This is a fourth level one. Oh, oh, that would be okay. so like cool to plane. do to a PC. That's why. That's why. I wonder. Just I wonder. I wonder who I like how you're. I like how you're. Like, you're assuming you that I am that kind of DM. Hera. That I would just. Scotty's that kind of GM. A ninth level that to spell caster, you at 12th level. <laughs> I did yeah. that at first level, but it was always going to be she was going to pop out later. Yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah, so you are uh, you are uh, banished uh, to a different plane. A little demi plane, there. Or something, right? Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. If the spell ends before one minute has passed, you'll reappear in the space it has left. You have left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair um, enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's At his turn. On... Unfortunately, it does not count as an attack. It's a spell. I'm so sorry. Uh, Alt. This, this all, uh, Alt, did you ask because you have the uh, Spell Slayer, what it's called, feat? No, it's his uh, it, the uh, last line special of that, ability. Yeah, the last, well, the last line of that, um, the signature move I used is, uh, it was uh. Tesla Ray of Vengeance. So if he makes an attack, I mean, it still will happen if he makes an attack, but he blows up. So <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> he blows up. Well, that's what it says. He, goes, he blows up. He goes boom. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, Yeah, we'll say it's Timo's turn. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, well, I mean, I'm still right next to the spellcaster, so you I are, guess yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep beating him up. Okay. Fucking bully this nerd. <laughs> that's what me and you are. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, I know. It's... Showing the nerd what for. Uh huh. Uh, that's a natural twenty on the first one. <laughs> Jesus. We're really that bullying this thing. Roll. Uh, roll again to see if yep. you uh... without proficient. Wait, do I still have proficiency on that? I forget. No, it's just a flat d20. Yeah. You have to get above an 11 or higher to uh, roll damage again. What the hell's happening on my dice roller? There we go. Uh, 15. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, roll, do your max, and then roll again. Okay, so eight. Not three d eight. That would be ridiculous. Okay, so that is fifteen points of damage. Okay. All right, and he needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay, he passes his Constitution saving throw. Okay. His concentration well, check. Well, I'm gonna beat him up again, so that's okay. fine. He's gonna kick the shit out of this nerd. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, that's probably not gonna hit. That's a four. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, Fuck, I should be using my my glitch hunter shit. Um, I just thought about that. I think I have a bonus thing for that. I think everyone's dual classed. Nope. Well, except for this one and that one. And this so half. Never mind. Um hard to keep track. Uh the Gug. But Alt was the drunk one. Only occasionally. Uh the Gug is going to uh use its one of its legendary actions uh to uh, move its 20 feet up to closer to where Tomo is. Uh, so I want to say it may be in like melee with you now. So I mean, I... you want to say that, but I wish you didn't. So what, so what, <laughs> it can't do anything yet. So what you're but... saying, what you're saying is, it willingly takes a bunch of toad attacks getting to Tomo. <laughs> uh, it would, except. The while it, their master is not on this plane, when their master does not tell them to, the toads take the dodge action. Also, it's not that bright. It probably wouldn't care. I want to say conjure animal says that if you don't, um, well, hang on, let me let me read it because it might. Wouldn't say it be like it. a standing order to attack until uh, I gave them I a verbal know. command to attack the gug. And oh, if yeah, no okay, uh, yeah, commands are no. on them, then they defend themselves. Okay. So after it, will, it dies, it will would... take its it will take its uh uh attack. Six, it'll take its then. Okay, let me roll. Thirteen D twenty is we uh let's see. That's a good job. A lot of them hit, actually. Two. Seven of them hit, one of them being a nat one, which I think um, so I'd like to think it just does like a backflip. Um <laughs> Very impressive. It just like button jumps at him and just bounces off. Pretty much. I think it tried to headbutt. Yeah, Cyrus, you can you feel this thing running around the battlefield, but you cannot see anything and you cannot really move well. Um, you're restrained, so you on your turn you can attempt to attack, but um mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. Um Wow, 36 damage. Holy shit, nice. All right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's its thing, it moved. Um, Passion, it's your turn. Uh, there's a nerd that's getting pounded on by Tomo uh, and a very angry mouth monster uh, running at Tomo. Uh, and you're pretty sure that that thing probably has Cyberus in its stomach. Oh, he's dead. We can't do much for him, so. <laughs> I mean, Passion can't do much to save him if he's been eaten. I mean, you literally can't target him right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't. Uh, right. So, what are you doing? Cast anti-acid. That might help. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess our best bet is just to DPS down this nerd. Uh, so, yeah, I will cast Eldritch Blast on him. Ooh, that's a 19 on the die and a 20 on the die. So I crit on one. Nice. OK. So I'll confirm that one. That's a 10. OK, so just uh, max. Just max for the one, all right. And the other one just does normal damage. Cool, that's almost double max damage. So that'll nice. be 10, 20, 29, uh, 30, 31, 41 points of damage to him. Uh, 41 points of O oh, to the wizard, to the, or the, the nerd. spellcaster, right? Okay. Yes, to the nerd. 41. I believe okay. he needs a con save, my good lady. <laughs> oh, good point. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Okay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was like, I need a fedora so I could be like, hey, my lady. My lady. Um, <laughs> uh, and Grok, 
Uh, it's not your turn, but you still have eyes. Yes, you have eyes now again. Mm -hmm. um, so, for that brief moment where you were out of existence, um, at first you felt you found yourself in like this this sort of like a gray bubble of of like nothing, and you're like, oh, okay, like. I guess this is a pocket dimension, whatever. All right. Um, and then it felt like that gray bubble popped. Um, and you find yourself standing in a darkened, like grassy area and you look around and there are, they're not quite gravestones because they just look like strange statues that don't make sense. Like the one is like a garden gnome. Another one is like the statue of an angel, but it's like leaning on its side and has like this lantern that's hanging the wrong way. Um, I blink once. Uh, another one <laughs> is, <laughs> it does not move. Um, uh, another one is what looks like just a set of stairs, uh, but they're sort of like arranged the wrong side. And it looks unnervingly like a graveyard, but made by somebody that doesn't really understand what gravestones are for um and you look uh sort of look beyond and out in the distance you see this just massive skull it's colossal size it's it's larger than some of the largest buildings you've seen in del diablo it is surrounded by what looks like could be a city but it looks like all of the buildings are like upside down, hanging uh, from this skull. Um, and there is this this bright orange light from within, where it almost it looks as if the entire city is lit by candles. Um, and you blink again, and you are standing in a battlefield, and there's that dead nerd in uh, the robe that banished you. Um, yeah, so that was Passion's turn. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I can do a bonus action still. So. Oh, yeah, go for it. Sorry. Um, how bad does Demona look? Um, I mean, still not maxed, but she's All way right. out of threat range. Yeah, she's right. like 40 feet away and I'd say probably 20 feet off the ground. So Onyx is, I think, the next lowest then? Or Toma? That I can see. We can say numbers. Come on. Yeah. I'm at 63 hit points. All right. Now blow so, uh, <laughs> Tomo. I'll blow healing. Onyx IRL rages. Tomo, speak <laughs> up. <laughs> nah, I hate numbers. <laughs> <laughs> numbers are for nerds. I'm cool. Heal Tomo just out nerd. of spite. <laughs> okay, I heal Tomo out of spite. <laughs> to be fair, I am actually lower than you. I have 59. All right. You get nine HP back. Sweet. Stop talking. Stop talking about numbers. Callie, <laughs> I just I just looked at the Twitch chat. And I just realized Callie threw us under the bus. Yeah. Oh hell. She said, "You remember what's your favorite episode of Corruption, Jimmy? I like the one where they talk about using a micro motorcycle as a weapon for a long time." <laughs> Um, also, damn it, Vex, you're one point off. We could have had 69 HP. Oh, that's a shame. Can, can we magically oh. give her one more HP? <laughs> um, <laughs> <that's> cool. <laughs> um, rule, rule of nice. <laughs> so, uh, the Gug, um, I do not believe he is quite in range of Tomo yet. I want to say you were 30 feet away, right? I think you said... Um, I thought you said he was in melee range. Oh, he was. That's right, yeah, because he moved yeah. again. Yeah, he's going to He's gonna try and... um. Yeah, why not? No, nah, he's going to try and grab you as well, because that seems like fun. Gross. Grab everybody. Well, is this the beginning of his turn? Uh, this is a legendary action. Okay. I, sorry, I, I need to remember. Some sort of save race. or whatever. Uh, he has to roll to hit. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a grapple um, attack. Uh, seventeen to hit you. Uh, that is my armor class on the dot. Okay, you are grappled. Okay. 
Oh, I have a higher AC than you. It's too bad you're not within five feet of me. I could give you an AC. I mean, <laughs> technically, you are within five yeah, feet. Technically, you're almost. No, you can't it's, see. It's huge. Size. I wasn't going to ask because I know that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah you're you're inside of it. <laughs> Kinky. Also, I feel like an attack you can see might be one of the qualifiers for it, and you are currently blind because you're in its esophagus. You would think so. Where, where does it? Uh, where does the, would the plus one AC come from? A defense expert. If something's within five feet of me, I can use my reaction to give it one AC. I imagine it's like the shield, and suddenly, yeah. like this, the shield bursts out of it. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna, I, I was gonna say the thing goes to gra grab uh, Tomo and just from out of its giant fucking mouth, just you can do it. Just shield. Just shield. Dunk, and it's then goes back inside. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Defense expert. Okay, it should say a. That's so dumb. Okay, yeah, it should say that what you have to like be able to see it <laughs> and it able doesn't. to move. <laughs> I know it, it doesn't, would but there's also like things that make sense. Uh, is there? Yeah. Sometimes we have to make some sense. I mean, um, we're fighting a giant flesh monster with a with what amounts to a tooth vagina <laughs> and four arms. I don't think much makes sense at this point. Did That's not that. how I refer to vaginas. <laughs> Did not need that image. Okay. Um. So, uh, it's Cyberus's turn. <laughs> Uses mature yes. languages and is meant for mature audiences. <laughs> That's not mature language, it's biology. Not. <laughs> You're definitely not mature. So, uh, <laughs> something, something, Jennifer's body. <laughs> something, something, yeah. I like Jennifer's body. That's a good movie. I heard it's it good. is a good movie. I would like to use Star Wars Shield <laughs> to summon my bubble from the inside. Would you say it's restraint? <laughs> what? I'm restrained, but it doesn't. It just, no, it's I mean, the creature, after you do that, would it be restrained? Because the bubble can't move. <laughs> I think it'd either be restrained or ripped in half. Because it's a 10 foot. <laughs> I don't know That's how big like, it is. Shit, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it wouldn't be restrained because it doesn't say so. That's the thing. It would definitely not be restrained because it's a uh, restraint is a specific condition that is caused by an effect yeah, that says so, okay, restrain the creature. So it's speed it would be zero to... because an immovable object just spawned inside it. Hang on. I'm reading. There's <laughs> like a thing for if it if it's an enemy. I think it yeah. It okay, if it. a hostile creature is within five feet of you. They are. They uh -huh. must succeed a dexterity saving throw versus your spell save DC or be pushed out. Otherwise, they are trapped in the sphere with you. Ooh. So it would oh, implode. Wait, if, he, if he's pushed out, would that literally mean his entire body is pushed out because the shield's emanating from inside of him? And if he's not pushed out, would he just carve a spheral shape out of the middle? Which way is he? Never mind. Because I'm fine either way. If he's pushed out, he's just like, just it's expands. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say that his uh, dexterity saving throw, mm -hmm. um, he's going to make he's going to make a con save first to see if he is capable of spitting you out before this goes off. Um, and then he's going to make a dexterity saving throw as well to not be trapped in the bubble with you. Uh, so, con save. Oh. Two. Two. Um, One. He My spell save is 13. A three? Uh, however, his total is 14. That beats me. Okay, so, he spits you out. Oh, God. <laughs> before the, the shield goes active. However... The shield still goes active, so now he needs to make a deck save or be stuck in the bubble with you. How big Could is that he bubble? even fit in the bubble? Actually, shit, he might not. Yeah, how big uh, is the bubble? He it's is... a 10 foot diameter. He's huge He's size, huge so no. Size. That'd be a large size creature. Diameter or radius? Diameter. Oh, diam oh yeah, diameter. Yeah. 
Usually it's in radius. Why does it say the ma- diameter? Yeah, that's so weird. It also doesn't <laughs> say that there's a size. It should say, oh, um, medium size or small creature pushed out. Yeah, but the medium size or smaller is for your non-hostiles. Oh, that's doesn't right. say anything for the hostiles. Um, fuck it. I'll say sure. If he fails, he's stuck in the bubble with you. Ooh. That might be bad. I think both of you will be <laughs> oh, hurt okay. a lot. He he did not fail. He or I don't think so. No, he got a 23. Wow, that is a dexterous mouth. Crit. He rolled I, really well. Pass, that'd be a crit. That I just imagine if he failed, they'd be like in that bubble yeah. and just if, like if can't had, move okay. at all. <laughs> So if he had failed that constitution save, he would have died. Because oh, like one there's point. there's no way, like it doesn't make any sense. Like it it just it dies. Would, um, would that kill Cerberus too? Because he'd be in there with it being crushed. But it, it doesn't affect Cybris though. Yeah. Because Cybris is the one making it. The shield it, would so. protect me. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh my god. Um, At least how it reads, yeah, he would be completely safe from it. Yeah. The shield would take the damage, maybe, but not not Cyberus. Um, yeah. So he is out, and now there is a Cyberus bubble on the ground. So basically, he barfs you out, and there is a spray of acid, and it as a bunch of God knows what, probably a couple of body parts, a uh, gout of acid, and Cyberus land on the ground, and a bubble forms, and the gug just sort of like turns its like whole torso. And does this weird like licking thing? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else Cybers is doing? Uh, no, nope, that's my action. Okay. I'm just gonna recover from the fantastic journey I've been on. <laughs> Magical journey. You cast personal bubble. Oh, oh. Uh, so that's the end of your turn. Uh, the guck, uh, is currently grappling Tomo, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it is going to use its last legendary action to chuck her. Oh <laughs> boy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it it eats uh, Tomo across the battlefield. If I didn't really use the reactions for my frogs, I was going to say, can I use the thing they use their reactions to try to catch Tomo with their tongue? Attack Tomo! <laughs> <laughs> but they already use uh, the reactions. That is the grossest waterbed I can imagine in my life. Oh. Also, all I can picture Hera is um, yes, the, the, yes, the viper, the snakes mm-hmm. from uh, yeah, from from. Wee! I was just imagining Exxon. like that that squeeing sound of when you push on that frog from that one video. Yeah, the, <laughs> the war cry. Yeah. Um. So it yeets Tomo, uh, fifty feet. Oh, that's all. <gasps> that's a lot. Um, and uh, Tomo, <laughs> are you still uh, on your motorcycle? Not, not anymore. Not anymore. No. <laughs> not after being um, grappled off of it. No. Uh, and you take twenty-seven bludgeoning damage when you land amidst the crowd. <laughs> Darn it! So I, I so what I'm getting because all this happened the same turn. I pop into <laughs> existence, wondering what I just saw, and then a Tomo goes Poof, right past me. <laughs> Like, no dark. okay hang on no so you pop into existence you turn around and suddenly the uh gug vomits up cerberus who has a bubble around him now and then oh. the looks around to the rest of the room and looks at tomo and just yeets her 50 feet across the battlefield okay that makes me feel a little better because i just thought about that i was like if it had grappled me before it barfed up cybris i'd be really upset right now because not only did i just get yeeted halfway across the goddamn country i also got vomited on (laughs) oh jesus (laughs) that's true enough I Fair mean, enough. you took 27 damage. I mean, he kind it of could have been worse because then he could do a follow-up attack. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah, but that's the end of his legendary actions. Um, and it's the Flutterflesh's turn. Now, here's a question. Am I still paralyzed? Um, I said it's for one round, so until the end of its turn. Okay. Because that's usually how it goes. So, um, yeah, it is going to... Yeah, it's gonna make it's gonna make two bone spur attacks against the uh, paralyzed uh, stone lady right in front of it. It's gonna hurt. 
Um, You're resistant. It's fine. Uh, remind me, uh, when you were paralyzed and you were hit by a melee weapon attack uh, and you're within five feet... It's an automatic have... crit. Okay. Um, he still has to hit through your armor class, though. Right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ad but I'm pretty sure he did. Because paralyzed? Or was yep. that not the case? Yep, that's a rule for paralyzed. Okay. Uh, so that's a 21? Yep. Uh, so... Uh, it does max damage, but not uh, roll. it doesn't roll again. Uh, so that is uh, 28 slashing damage um, and uh, 20 necrotic damage from the first burn spur. Uh, and the second attack with it, oh, that actually might not hit. Even with advantage, because it's me. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's a thirteen. Nope. Yay! I will not die. Yeah. Okay. Um. However, you are starting your turn within thirty feet of it, though. Yeah. Uh, so I need you to make another Constitution saving throw. Oh wait, no. It's not, it's, I've been rolling this on his turn, so I'll say, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll it in. Okay. Uh, uh, keep it consistent. That, that's a 10. Uh, so that is 17 necrotic damage. Ouch. Uh, at least I'm still raging. If I wasn't that's raging, true. that would be really, really You'd hurtful right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um and then that that's the that's a flare flesh's turn. Um uh and he's gonna use the rest of his movement to get the fuck away from the grappling barbarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's his turn. Uh Demona, what would you like to do? Uh there is chaos uh beyond. The spellcaster is dead, it seems. Uh Gruk is back. The Flutter Flesh just beat the shit out of Onyx, uh, who still seems to be, or uh, is now unparalyzed. Um, and uh, the Gug just vomited out Cyberus and then yeeted Tomo across the battlefield. Curiouser and curiouser. Immolation. <laughs> <laughs> On the Gug. Okay. That's a deck save, right? That is a deck save. All right. What is the range on that? 90 feet. Okay. Deck save. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, 16? Ha! No, it burns. So that is going to be 32 plus 5, 37 fire damage. And on a failed save, the target also burns for the spell's duration, which is up to one minute. Okay. At the end of each of it, its turns, the target repeats the saving throw, and it takes four additional 46 fire damage on another failed save. Um, so it was 37 damage this turn, right? Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. And it is on cool. fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, Grok, yes. how's it going? What do you want to do? <laughs> hmm. There's a, there's a big mouth monster that's on fire. I mean... You, you say that like it's a... Well, I was going to say my fault, but then I realized... It is your fault. <laughs> you should have like that's not surprising. <laughs> it's a good thing. I mean, the frogs are going to still attack. Um, two nat 20s. Okay. <laughs> um, so 13 attack. Oh, wait. That one is back, isn't it? It's no longer paralyzed. So yep. the one that yeah. has three hit points <laughs> hops into the field. Gets a new four. challenger approaches. <laughs> gets an at four in its attack, so it misses. But yeah, it's the that spirit. tracks. Uh, uh, eighteen and a two for the the crit confirmation things. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks again. Hit. Jesus Christ. With two of them being crits. So. Okay. Mm. 
38 piercing damage to the big mouth guy. How's he looking? I know he's on fire, but like... I mean, he's taken a lot of damage. Like, uh, most of that, uh, those, like, that hair has burned away now. It's, uh, flesh is charred and it's looking pretty fucked. How far away? Uh, but how, it what, is still standing. What is its, what is the distance from the flying skull thing and that? Like, what, which one's closer to me? Because I went up to the mage Um... Guy. Uh, the gug is probably closer. Uh, the the flying uh the flutterflesh is like sixty feet in the air. Okay. Um. Let me double check to see the range of this spell. How far away is the gug again? I think you just told me. Uh, the gug uh from you. Mm-hmm. Mm, like, we'll say thirty feet. Okay. You guys were all keeping pretty close to it. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, except for the wizard. Thank you. <laughs> the wizard didn't get close to choice. You. It came, the fight came to her, them. And she GTFO'd. <laughs> and I managed to somehow not get hit. I'm going to do... Oh, no, it's huge, it's huge size. So this will... Cat realizing, shit, passions have been targeted once there. Uh... To be fair, you were doing mostly support, and the big aggro guy kept going after the people that damaged it. Yeah, I, I have not touched the gug once yet. Hey, me too. No, <laughs> okay. I mean, Which is you touched to you a lot it. more of it than anyone else. Yeah, <laughs> touched things not it has not had touched in a while. Or that I wanted to. Which is closer, <laughs> um, the gug or Tomo? Uh, definitely the Gug. Tomo is 50 feet away from, from uh, the Gug. The gug. <laughs> yeah. But that would mean it's only 20 feet away from me, right? The yeah. Gug should yeah. be pretty close yeah. to you, yeah. I move Save away it. from the Gug, let my frogs keep doing what they're doing. Okay. And I come up to Tomo, and Tomo's laying there prone. I got, like, <laughs> anime, like, in the crater of a wall or something. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> Looking like Yamcha over here. And I'm like, uh, you haven't died yet. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And I'm like, More like Krillin. So how are you doing? <laughs> no, Levin. I'm sorry. Hang on. Does Gruck still look like a weird fucking shatterling right now? No, no, I never did. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he never looks. Like, he he didn't use wild shape. Remember? Nope. Oh, okay. You don't gain the the look of it when you're in copy paste. Okay. No, I don't. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I can, but that's only if the trait has a physical thing. Like if I. If it was a wild shape elk and I gained the ram ability, I would gain okay. the antlers. Okay. Like that. Um, well, that'd be healthy with that. Thanks. Uh, you heal. Mm. That doesn't seem right. Wait a minute. Uh oh, that was my damage roll. I'll get boo. <laughs> Let me help you with that cast fireball. <laughs> Let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> Grok was the BBEG all the time. <laughs> Let's be honest here. That wouldn't surprise. Would that surprise any of us? Ah, Would surprise Demona. Uh, you heal twenty-seven as I cast cure wounds at fourth level. Oh, sweet, thank you. That's all I can really do. Because that may or may not be her plan. God damn it! It's one point short again. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, 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 never mind. That's it. That was we were we were this close to greatness <laughs> multiple times. No, no, to niceness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. So. Um. That's Grux's turn. Uh, the Gug is out of legendary actions. Onyx, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. I'm not what paralyzed you anymore. You're not, no. How far away is that Flutterfuck? Uh, that Flutterfuck <laughs> is 60 feet in the air. It is not coming anywhere near the ground anymore. God damn it. How far is the Gug away from me? The Gug? I'll say he's about like. 50 feet away? Yeah, zone range. 
I am a monk I know. and barbarian. <laughs> I have 55 movement. Yep. Uh, Onyx comes barreling towards the uh, the Gug then. And okay. she sees that the other thing is too far away. And I'm going to attack it. Okay. Can I reaction before you get there? I would like to uh, break concentration on the shield so it explodes before you get in range. It's outside anyway, right? It's right outside it, though. It's right next yeah, to but it. if you were attacking it, you might get hit by the explosion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that anybody oh, or is it oh, only it does, enemy is, It does an actual damage thing. Okay, I didn't... I, I forgot right, about that. Me. That's, I'll still do it. Okay. okay. Uh, so yeah, does it... Does it... Dex save 13 or take all the d6s I did. How many, of, how many of my frogs would be within that? Probably all of them. Mm -hmm. What was the um, DC? 13. Okay. It got a five. Oh. oh. Bad at deck saves. That's good. Uh, I also rolled one. Uh, uh, 14, <laughs> 14 piercing damage. Okay. Uh, 17 of them passed. Not 17. Jesus, there's not that many. Seven of them passed. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, do they fucking multiply it and think you summon rabbits? I mean, you know uh, you know what they say. Certain is it, frogs can is it, uh, is it safe or suck? Or is it like half damage? If you, you take if half. Well, it says only enemies, so the frogs don't take any damage. Hey, okay. Like uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, so, it is still standing, Onyx, but it looks pretty fucked up. Okay. Oh, and it's also still on fire. <laughs> yep. As if Onyx cares. Also, I, mean, uh, I checked. Immolation doesn't actually do any damage to somebody punching it. Nope. I was about to, well, even if it did, I could have used my evoker ability to bend <gasps> it. Oh, no, that's only Not once attack. it's cast. Damn, that's right. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, fuck. That's yeah. missed, the first one. Okay. Uh, that's only uh, 3, 9... Yeah, 11 probably, 12 doesn't hit, right? No. Okay. Uh, 18? Uh, hits. Nice. Uh, I'm spending one key point for stunning strike. Okay. Uh, that's con save, right? Yep. I'm sorry. It rolled a nat 20. Eh. I mean, it's... <laughs> Do you want to know what the DC is? I know it's not that great. It's like 12 or something like that. <laughs> okay. That's really sad. I don't have any wisdom. That's a sad. I like to play Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All that right. Was, uh, uh, let's still hit, though. And that's bloop, five plus. That's 12 damage. Okay. And we're going to flurry this motherfucker. Okay. Give him a McFlurry. Yep. I was thinking suddenly of putting out the eye, uh, putting out the fire with a flurry. But... Double net 20 <laughs> <laughs> on both attacks. <laughs> both confirm. So. Um, that's a total of, oh yeah, I should roll the additional ones. That's um, 36 damage. How do you want to do this? Yes. <laughs> So Onyx basically just like gets up, looks up to the sky and sees the, like just this um, thing being like way out of her reach now. So she just turns to the other thing that is currently burning. She just barrels towards it and um, does like two jabs against uh, its leg because mm -hmm. she's so small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is huge size. Actually, no, she, she just like slides. And like basically, um, with the entire body, like hits hits the leg, and as it falls down, 
it uh, basically like slides beneath it and then like uh, she catapults herself up and just like slams down on it with one big swing. <laughs> nice. Um, and then pulls her fist out of the mess. <laughs> yeah, it is no longer moving. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so you guys you guys see all of the enemy fighters uh when they see onyx just pile drive this thing to a pulp uh start to hesitate and pull back um a handful of them look around and like start to make towards the um uh, the dead prone body of the spellcaster and then see Cybris standing there none the worse for wear covered in acid <laughs> and gore <laughs> and leave the body and begin retreating um, looks like they are being chased by the um, uh, the militia of the city um, and uh, as thing as they start to leave uh, from the um, oh shit, sorry, uh, from the inside of the building, um, uh, passion, you would instantly recognize this person uh, walking through the um, uh, the corridor and out of like the blasted and destroyed front glass doors of this uh, cathedral is the human arch priestess of um the one true maker mm -hmm. uh the holy mother and beside her is still stand is still walking that uh blue skinned winged celestial um and as she approaches she looks towards over to where onyx is um and just like gives a small nod uh thank you for your help uh, and you and she casts a spell, and uh, Onyx, you gain regain seventy hit points. Hmm. Um, uh, for what Gruck missed, uh, the Gug is slain. The forces are retreating, and the Archpriestess of uh, the One True Maker, uh, the Holy Mother, has walked through the cathedral back to where you guys are. Uh, walking beside that blue-skinned winged uh, celestial and cast heal on Onyx. What happened with the Flutterfuck? Yeah, I was about to say, how far uh, away it is it? It is also retreating with the uh, other forces. It's hmm. How far away is it from me with a dash? I assume it's I'm curious about this too, because I want to kill this fucker. Um, it is 60 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in perfect range. Well, uh, I... 60 feet in the air, and then... I assume it keeps going. Yeah, it's not going to go up, though. So I'll say, because I don't feel like doing trigonometry, uh, it's like 90 feet away. Okay, it's within 300 feet, so it needs a oh, strength save. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? As another Earthbind is cast on this motherfucker. <laughs> okay. I was uh, just saying, I, I would cast Sickening Radiance on it. Holy Lightning. fuck! I've cast Lightning Bolt. <laughs> okay, okay, well, one at a time. All right, fuck we it, we're still on initiative. I was going to say, like, we, we, we're is, not finished with this is motherfucker. Tom, is Tomo doing anything? Is she letting the flutter fuck go? Okay. Can I just say, can she really do it? Uh, I, I mean, I could try and hit it with my fucking Tesla ray, I guess. Might as well try it. Better not. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Kill the flutter fuck. Yeah, that'd be fun. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't fun. that be cool? All right. Well, um, that's a uh, nineteen to hit. Oh, that hits, yeah. Cool. Hey, hey do you get uh, Tesla cannon? So I do. Uh, so that's fourteen points of damage. Okay. Um. Actually, it's funny to say I said I'm going to cast sickening radiance, but it probably actually it's better to cast Star Swift because because sickening radiance is not the best spell, shockingly enough. Um. Pun intended. It's kind of bad. Like, there's no effect on a half on a on a failed on a pass save. Yeah, I thought that was weird too. On what spell? It's radiation. Sickening radiance. Yeah, there it's, is. Yeah, it's a safer suck because it's AOE. It can be yeah. multiple targets. I'm, yeah, I, so I, is fireball. I was gonna say, so is fireball. So is um. Yeah, I would. It, I would anyway. expect that you take it, like it does damage and exhaustion levels. 
Yeah, no, no. But what but I mean still, is, it's the, like the, the thing damage is, to go through on like it. the thing is usually like with these kind of spells is they t- still take half damage, yeah. but no other effect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's and that is really like the one sentence that seems to be missing there. Yes. There's a lot of areas, but yeah, no. Instead, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll use Star Swift. I have never used this spell ever before. It has, are you looking up to see? Yeah, why? look at that sickening radiance. Yeah, yeah it's save or suck. Yeah, it's really bad. I don't get why they decided to make it bad. Uh, yeah. So, what does it need? Like a deck save, or do you roll to hit? I'm, I, I'm going to use Star Swift. So, roll to hit. Okay. I think Star Swift, does it still have the, like, ignores cover? Yes. Okay, good. But that doesn't really mean much. I mean, That's a it's nat in 20. The <laughs> okay. And I'll confirm. That is a 19. Cool. Max and roll again. Oh, sweet. So, um, so, let's say I'm just, so... I'm going to calculate the radiant separately from the normal because I probably should, right? Yeah. Radiant separate from, all right. Plus three plus. Um, also tell me what your necrotic damage is as well because does that count as well? Six plus five. All right. So it takes 42. Um, sorry, hold on. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Um, uh, whatever it's called, damage, uh, radiant. radiant? Okay. Yes. At uh, what level did you cast it? Fourth. Okay. okay. I'm warlock. I I have no uh, down casting, up casting. I cast everything at max level. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Plus thirty five, uh, piercing or slashing damage. Okay. And 12 necrotic damage. Okay. How do you want to kill this thing with fucking Star Swift? <laughs> Holy shit, I killed something with Star Swift. This is never going to happen the again. The radiant damage killed it. The oh, radiant fuck, yes. damage was fucking wild. No. Sorry. Without the radiant damage, it had like five hit points. I'm- so it was dead no matter what, even if I hadn't gotten the crit almost. I'm yeah. happy a spell I made was useful. I feel so bad because the spell was really good. It needs better scaling. <laughs> how do you how do you end it? Oh, uh, in terms of how do I want to do it? Honestly, I just see her just pointing and just stop. Just just fireworks. Just fireworks pop off. Okay, Jubilee. Just just shiny fireworks is the best way. Just yeah, I was gonna think like a Roman candle. You're casting pyrotechnics? No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> just a Roman candle of like reds and purples. Yeah. fly at the thing and just, I see it just drops like a stone. Yeah, so um Grok is just like uh most of it, most of those like strange like crystalline feather things are just exploded in with impact and turn into dust. Uh a small handful of them do land on the ground uh and roll next to where those skulls are. And for comedic effect, I'll say that uh, most of that shrapnel lands near Onyx because it's funny. Um, uh, and like one of the skulls rolls down, and as it uh, the skull rolls to where you are, one of those like shrapnel feather things pierces into it uh, and pierces the skull, and it looks like it's that same uh, shard that had like the tattoo on it. Also, for even more comedic slash awesome effect, Passion will use enchanting pose. Not on anyone in specific, just to do the pose. Nice. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the entire uh, militia around you just erupts into cheers as most of the enemy forces are now either retreating or fallen. Uh, Onyx eyes still glowing red with rage. Uh, like, Calming looks motions. at. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> looks at her fists, basically that is like covered in whatever from the uh, from the guck, and she just like, out of curiosity, like. <laughs> it tastes <laughs> awful. <laughs> she spits it out immediately. <laughs> it's very gucky. Punching her tongue <laughs> to try <laughs> the taste off. It's very gucky. Uh, it's got a gucky 
consistency to it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you can see like the, the, the red glow, uh, like almost burning from her eyes fade. And then also like the metal falling off of her. And they're just like, why did I do that? <laughs> um, so, no clue. Yeah. This, Is there this... anything you guys would like to do before? Uh... Passion looks to the rest of the. Uh, Luke, you're muted, by the way. You can't leave yourself. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go up to the gug and say you should have chewed your food and then take a big bite out of it. Okay. Feast of death to gain some health back. Okay. <laughs> Passion looks to Gruck. So, who's the new person? When you do the action cutscene, oh, that's actually perfect. After you do the action cutscene and everything exploded, I, the new, the new Gruck, that Passion does not know, see me just awkwardly go over in like all the shards of this corrupted creature at the ground, and I'm like, ooh, these are interesting. And I'm just like taking bits of it off the ground. Also, uh, Passion, can you give me uh, either an athletics or um, an are acrobatics? You Yes. Tackle hugging. You're clomping her. Mona just kind of sits down on the church wall to, for a smoke. 27. Uh, Flutter flesh. Flutter flesh. Okay. I changed the flavor of some of what it looks like a little bit. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I, I rolled a uh, 30. Jesus. <laughs> We both rolled absurd in that one. Oh, no, wait. It's a 29. Sorry. It's a 29 only. So we match, I think, then. <laughs> or no, no. Sorry, it was one off. I got 28. Yeah. As Onyx just, like, runs towards you and just... Oh, miss, missile hugs meet her? Yeah, missile Hera, hug. All right, she can put her arms around her, ne- her neck now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> No. That's probably also that's also probably why you like can't withstand that because you're just <laughs> Onyx is used to hugging a taller passion and one that is a little bit more robust. I picture so... her jumping <laughs> <laughs> and just bowling passion over. Um so uh right before we end, I will say that throughout most of this fight, uh Sammy had gone off uh to a different part of this area to try and uh, defend some of the other folks that were um, trying to hold their own against these things. Um, uh, And she sort of like awkwardly pokes her head around while uh, Onyx and Passion are hugging and just sort of like does the awkward like wave with two two hands on the same arm (laughs) side to Passion. Passion gives her a grin and a wave back. Hey, um, so I I got a, a call from like Henshin, I guess, from my recaster. It's never done that before. Is it supposed to do that? Um, it does it sometimes. That they have a way home for me. Uh, I I just wanted um, want to tell you to <laughs> stay safe and <laughs> continue, Scott. <laughs> Passion, uh, Passion's gonna get up and give her a big old. Big yeah, old I was about to say, like on- Onyx would like help Passion back up because <laughs> she d- actually didn't mean to like tackle, tackle her. her to the ground, mm-hmm. like help her back up, and then it's like go to her. Yeah, uh, Passion will go give her a big old smooch and a hug. Go, mm-hmm. they need you. Just be safe, and all of you try to keep her safe, and don't die again. Um, I'll do my best. All of you are welcome to visit my house one time, uh, and I will cook for all of you. And uh, Cyberus, you need to teach me that cookie spell. Yes, would you like one more for the road? Yes. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Tomo, fifty feet away. Die again? (laughs) I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. (laughs) I'll heal you when I get back. Get over there. I'm fine. I'll heal you when you get over. If you're complaining about it. Nah, Gruck, it's fine. I, mean, I can heal compl- you. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> Don't die again. Immediately gets shot by Toma. Gruck, yeah. <laughs> Gruck, Gruck is like the old grandma who's like, "There you go for the trip." And I hand her a little bag <laughs> that's half a pound of manticore jerky that I still have. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's gotta be Thank so you. fucking dry. It's a jerky. 
I know, but like, you know, like if you leave jerky out too long, it gets like flaky. I don't actually know, but I feel like oh. it's 100% in character that um, Sammy is vegetarian. I know she did have, when we went out, she had fish. Okay. Because that's what you well. poisoned her with. That is, fish is pescatarian. Yeah, pescatarian. Yeah. We'll ask, well, easiest way is we'll just, ask. we'll ask Aya. She'll just She's take like, his, let's, oh, let's, let's, I'll try that later. I'm not really hungry, considering. Let's, let's be honest here. Sammy would accept it and not say yet and not That's refuse true. it because yes. it's Sammy. That's true. Accurate. Yeah. God, I want beef jerky. I do too. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Uh, so unless now. there's, unless there's anything else, uh, we'll wrap there for the night. I'm good. You guys is, the still, on. is the gug still burning yes yes cool. it is burning it, for a minute because it cannot put itself out it tastes better cooked by the way onyx <laughs> it does actually it does it makes the like super nope. stringy meat a lot more uh tolerable now onyx cook. picks up as like a, a little like bit of like Gak from her like fist, like just scrapes it off and throws it at Cyberus. He catches it like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the uncooked that's one, by the way. Old... And scene. Yeah. And, and yeah. it's like it does the freeze frame credits, but it's Cyberus jumping into the air in mid grab. Yeah. Uh huh. Fucking air oh, blood. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a heart, there's a heart. It's like the credits start going. Yeah. Uh, so, um, we will start the, um, uh, announcements with the person who had probably the most glory kill of the night, Onyx, holy shit. Uh, for those unaware why, uh, Hera started cackling after describing the death scene, that thing had one hit point before Flurry of Blows. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, so what do you got fun. going on, Hera? Uh, yeah, okay, so tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. EST, okay, uh, Vex and I will hopefully be on Heroes Without Limits, that is Age Without Limits, here on Twitch, uh, playing Silver and Steel, a uh, Witcher TTRPG. Um, we had some, like, bad luck uh, recently, but hopefully tomorrow we can play again. Something's happening, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, uh, Luke, you got anything going on? No, I got a whole bunch of uh, SSD uh, coming from my computer. That's exciting for me. Oh, cool. But that's it. Okay. Um, uh, Alt, what do you got going on? Uh, oh, yeah, that's me. Um, no, it's the other Alt. I don't know. Maybe there's an the alt, alt. The alternate yeah, Alt. Yeah, I do have an alternate Alt, so... You uh, are the yeah. alt. Yeah. You can follow me at AltZeal on Twitter. Uh, I occasionally post art, although it's been really hard lately because this lockdown is a nightmare and motivation is very difficult. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can follow at Caliloquy for great art. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm around. Um, I'm spending absurd amounts of money on cosplay so those pictures are going to go up when I get everything and that'll be cool um, I'm also in the process of maybe starting my own RPG so Ooh. that might be fun Ooh. you guys That's all know what we're them. talking about now. yeah yeah <laughs> Vikings. Vikings because I'm an in real life Viking yeah uh, so yeah that is, that's me yeah uh Bex, what do you got going on? Well, like Hera said, Silver and Steel on Saturday, and also at Saturday on that, at that night at 9 30 and 9 o'clock p.m. EST. Um, hopefully, I'll be running Ghosts of Salt Marsh on my channel on Twitter, which is at Fractured Moon DD. Ooh, where are they at right now? And the, are they still, um, they're still in the Sinister Secret adventure, right? They're in the first adventure still, yes. Where, how, where are the, they gone? Uh... Hmm? Where have they gone? They with, have with gone spoilers. into the. They've gone into the house and then they ran, promptly ran out of the house after being feared. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they were wiser than my group. No, no, they didn't have much of a choice. They got the fear yeah. effect applied to them. <laughs> we almost died. To all the but, all but. Oh no! Believe me, I already almost killed them twice now. Yeah, and we. we uh, there's some. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's some some thingies. Yeah, like, it's, it's haunted. Insect swarms, I think. 
Yes, some spider, spider swarms. Some spider swarms are coming Cat, after you. Cat wouldn't know anything about those. Nope, not at all. Nope, don't definitely don't watch our uh, Ghost of Salt Marsh game. Uh, which nice segue because that's what we're playing tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, we'll we'll get to that when we yeah. get to that. So uh, when... Ghost of Salt Marsh at nine thirty max, right? Nine p.m. Yeah. for us. Okay. Yeah. Those, those bugs is. are fucking nightmarish. I hate Night, level one is a nightmare. Valid. Valid. Yeah. 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 And aside um, from that, uh, I have one more. Uh, oh, yeah. No, um, you finish. You can find, while we've been on a bit of a hiatus, let's call it, we, I also have on Thursdays at 4 30 p.m. EST, we have Retroverse Furry Road, where Uis is our GM, and Alt, Hera, and I all play in that one, as and well as Callie. And I do a really fun voice. And annoy the piss out of all of the other players. Especially, no, characters. Characters, but especially, especially Kiri. Kiri. <laughs> especially Kiri. It doesn't care because I feel like a Cherry Nose Ankle just stab her. Pretty much. She has already stabbed one of the group members. She doesn't was, mind making it another. It was pretty funny. Yeah, that's all I have right now. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I'm going to let Scotty say it because it's uh, he's GMing it. Um, but follow me on Twitter. Hopefully sometime in the next month or so, you may hear about something being released by me on DM. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Mysterious. Collaboration uh, so he, with uh, Time Patches on uh, Twitter couple, and Maddie, right? Uh, a couple things, actually. So mm -hmm. uh, just keep an eye out there and I'll, like, when we get an actual date, I'll, I'll announce it uh, for real. Mm -hmm. Cool. I look forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and Scott. Yes. Um, we host a lot of shows here. Um, if you're on Twitch, um, <clears throat> then you can find the schedule here on this channel. I, I've updated my actual Twitch thing to show the all the D and D games that we run on here. Um, the next one will be Chaos Crew, which will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you're watching from YouTube. There'll be a link to the Twitch in the description, so you should check it out. Um, also, if you like the show or any of the other shows on here, um, the playlists are down below on Twitch uh, for all the the bots. And um, we are also running Ghost of Salt Marsh tomorrow, but it'll be at seven p.m. And they're and they're in the final enemy adventure. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna go to war. Yep. It's gonna be great. They're on their way to uh, war. Last shout out. This is where the monsters came from tonight. They're super cool. Their uh, fluff is a lot different than it is in here, but their stats are badass. Their pictures. Their the every monster has a picture, and it's it's yeah, amazing. It's Cobalt their press. Great. They're disconcerting. Cobalt press. Uh, Tome <laughs> of beasts. I love it so much. Yeah, and that's the pocket edition. Uh, for those wondering why it's so tiny. But yeah, that's all we got. Have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Dos vidania.